G'day everyone, happy Whiskey Wednesday. I'm having a bit of wine at the moment, just finishing off a bottle ahead of the dinner. Bit of reason. <coughs> and I've just poured the Starwood ginger beer cask. I had a tiny, tiny little drop of it when I got it yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And now I've poured a decent drain of it and let it open up and see what it's like. You can definitely smell a bit of ginger on the nose. Good day. So this is JD Bourbon Approach. G'day JD, how you going mate? 48% ABV, filled 2017, bottled this year, and it's a five run mill. It'll be interesting to see what it's like. Mm -hmm. G'day, random. Ginger poobs. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm about to find out. Good day. Random FPV. Oh darn! Yep, it is the star one. So I reckon it needs to open up a little bit, so we'll let it open. Good day. See what it's like. Old man Joe. Good day, Joe. How are you doing on this fine morning, afternoon, evening? It's morning, real time, isn't it? And again, thank you for staying with us for the whole 24 hour stream. Absolute legend. Let us know the sound and video is all good. Hopefully YouTube is fixed now because after watching Bourbon Junkies this morning when YouTube decided to completely die and shit itself. I think they've fixed it now. Seems to be running alright now. I haven't had any trouble afterwards. It was an epic 24 hour stream, it sure was. It sure was. <coughs> the challenge is out there for someone else to do that now. If you don't sound good, excellent. Good stuff. So, fingers crossed our internet, well YouTube, should hold up. I think it was only North America that was kind of crapping itself. It's funny actually watching Bourbon Junkies because a lot of people saying, oh no, mine's fine. And then a few people were switching over to VPNs and they found that they worked on the VPNs, but then it yeah, eventually just died. Completely died. So they went over to Twitch instead. Oh, thanks, JD. Yeah, so that was that was on Live by Whiskey. We challenged each other to actually do that, even though Whiskey Tornado initially did that challenge. <laughs> Damn, I can't stay awake, awake that long, let alone be entertained and drinking whiskey. Well, you guys kept me awake, so it was all good. But I won't be doing one of them every week, that's for sure. <laughs> There's a bit, a bit much on the old body. It's good though. Yeah, I thought they were pretty good picks. It didn't take me much to actually think of those, I was like... Okay. I watched Whiskey on video and he said, yep. There's 2020, 2021 bottle. It's just awesome. Doesn't matter what it is. Availability and all that stuff. Sound is good, I'm doing well, a little busy this morning, but the Fandig and Munda pub will be in the background. Nice. We can keep you entertained. That's all good. Yeah, I've had a pretty productive day today. Put a couple more photos up, so a few guys saw the lightning photos. Yeah, because I went out. I was just about to go to bed at 1 o'clock in the morning, Monday night, so Tuesday morning, and then lightning and thunder, and I'm like, oh wow. So I got the dog inside, grabbed my camera, 
and spent the whole entire night running around shooting lightning, which was awesome fun. Most of it was cloud to cloud strikes, but I did capture a couple of cloud to ground strikes, which were pretty cool. We've got a nice, sweet, almost port kind of nose to it. With almost like breakfast, like a typical English breakfast smell when you go into a, like a hotel and they've got the English breakfast ready to go, you know, a bit of toast, and maybe some bacon and eggs and they've got some cereal on the side. That's what it smells like. Then I'll okay, in. Nice. Yeah, that's on my shopping cart. Actually, the bottle of this month with the single malt whiskey club here in Australia is the Anok Sherry Cast Finish. It's 51% ABV. So that'll be coming probably in a week and a half. Oh, and I did grab today delivery of the Blood Knock, the whiskey club special edition Blood Knock. Only taken the bottle shop of that, but that arrived today. I'll grab it. So this is a Whiskey Club only exclusive. It's non chill filled natural colour, it's bourbon cherry cast matured. Um, 2007 exclusive. Rare limited edition cast strength, vintage single malt whiskey was created exclusive for the Whiskey Club members of Bladnock. Uh, by Bladnock, master distiller Nick Savage. Which is pretty awesome. But yeah. Super, super rare. Only for Whiskey Club members. It's pretty cool. So you've had it for a So how much have you had out of it yet? Oh, the cat wants out. Scratching the ball. Uh, you still got one. Yeah, still got my one. Oh, you finished your one. You finished it. There you go. Whiskey Club! Bottle car strength, and yeah, that's what it says there. Rare, limited edition car strength. Exclusive for Whiskey Club members. Very nice. So that'll be interesting to try. You might think of it. Good day. Good day, James, James. McGoran. Got to head off to work eight day in a row. Yikes! I might be still going. I'm, I'm not sure. Damn! When do you get a day off, James? That's horrible. It's a bit brutal. I'll have to uh, keep drinking for you. Needs water. Yeah, that's what whiskey friend said. It needed to open up. Um, when he first had it, it was a bit. Mm. But it definitely needs to open up. Good day. Off tomorrow. Thank God Nightbot. for that. Nightbot. Screw you, Nightbot. Well, that's good. You got to die off tomorrow. Eighth day in a row. Got to get that money for that whiskey, eh? <laughs> Good day. Top shelf, Dustin. G'day, Dustin. How you going, mate? 
past the neck and right at the bottom widest part on top. Okay, so you got past the neck. So hopefully you should open up. Good day. Good day, cool running. Cooler running. In the same spot already. <laughs> Pulled three drones last night. It's surprising that it actually needs to open up because that 2020, that just, wow, that doesn't need any open up. That first dram out of that is amazing and every single one after that is fucking amazing. It's damn good shit. <coughs> but I'm thinking this one's going to need opening up. It's only 48%, but... Still smells like breakfast. Can be your next pour today. I think it's just the high ABV and the tannins from the red wine cask. Yep. It's kind of a bugger that doesn't have any heat on it. A bit of oak on the finish. Yep. Going back to that Aaron 18, I've got to grab me a bottle of that. That's on my shopping cart. Alright, let's have a little go of this. When I did try it, I think it was yesterday, I did try it. Just poured a little bit, me and the missus. It was a little hot on the pellet. I say, on, on the approach, it's not. On the pellet, as soon as you swallow it, and then it comes a little, little warm. And then it quickly dissipates, and then a nice little finish, yeah. Definitely one that needs to open a bit. So now I'm asked, how many hours did you sleep after that 24 hour marathon? Well, actually not many. I had like two hours sleep after, so after I went on HBR stream straight after, I thought I might stay up for, um, teacher stream, but nope, that didn't happen. So, you know, I went and had a few hours and then that night, I think I got my normal seven hours sleep. That's right. Cause I was on to, Whoever stream was on the next morning. Seven hours later, I think. Oh, dang, got ten hours. That's oh, pretty fruity and fresh. Okay. Hmm, sweet and sour. Cool. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't mind trying it. JD's got a bit. Oh, sorry, JD Wings. He's only got two or two more hours. I suppose Dustin, you're only starting your day of work. I would say jump on in, but everyone's working. Oh, he's our co host. Let's get some audio happening. Good day. Nigel Hines. Good day, Nigel. How you going, mate? What's in your glass? My glass? Why aren't you in the stream, Mr. Simon? Yeah, it's not pulling you in. Why is that? Cheers, James. Catch you, mate. I can say I have not enjoyed the Kill Karen Tour so far. Really? Mmm. It's surprising. I find that really tasty. I am doing all right now. Once I can get this bloody thing to work. Yeah, it's not pulling me out of the stream either. Hmm. Let's try fresh. Refresh. Okay. All right. I'll add a new link. That's kind of weird. 
It's showing me, but I can't pull myself out of the screen and I can't. Clicky, clicky. <laughs> nope. Nada. What the hell? Alright, I'm gonna have to refresh it. No. Broken! Like everything today. YouTube broke. Try to visit another castle this weekend. Oh, sweet! Alright, I'm gonna have to. Alright, I'm gonna close the browser and open it again. It's broken. It is broken. Let's open and close the rest. Let's try it again.
don't know what's going on. Oh, fucking weed! It's working perfectly fucking fine. I mean, I haven't used it from... No. Not doing shit. What the hell? Good day, Bourbon Baller. Okay, Bourbon Baller, having some technical difficulties. I don't know what the hell is going on. Can't add anybody. Good day, Aaron Hardiman. No, not right. Alright, so I'll create another room.
no, no, no. Actually, do that one. Going on. No idea what the facts are. back to the previous version. Hello? Hello. I was working on myself, but I can't add on that. Pulling on one else. I had to go back to the game version. Let's try this thing. I can see you. Good day. Jin Ardolino. Can you hear me? Yeah, fuck's sake. 
It's a good. Ah, that was a pain in the ass. What the fuck was going? <laughs> wouldn't I couldn't pull anyone out, pull anyone in. It just wouldn't fucking do anything. It just yeah, shit. It did nothing. And I tried new room, old version, back. So I've had to roll it back a couple of versions. Ah, that was, was worked perfectly before. It did, especially when you had those fucking 12 people on in your 24 hours. That's stream. right. Mm. Exactly. For 24 hours non stop, 12 people uh, didn't have a fucking problem. All right. Well, it's where back to how it was. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you doing, Simon? Yeah, not too bad. Is that the ginger beer cast you've got there? It is. How the fuck did you get that before me? I got it like two days ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Mine's not expected till Monday to Wednesday. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I received it, I think it was yesterday, yeah. Really? Fuck no. Yep. Yeah, yesterday was Tuesday. Yeah, it was yesterday. What's it like? Um, It's a little hot when you swallow it. I reckon it definitely needs to open up a little bit, but it's it's not bad. It, it yeah. reminds me of like a breakfast buffet when you walk into a into a hotel. Oh, okay. It's That's like you, know, you got it, you got that <laughs> you got the cereals and shit. You got a bit of bacon, a bit of toast, and you know all that kind of smell when you walk into one of those buffets. Mm, nice. Good day, Jen. Thank you for joining us. Oh, good day, Jay. <sighs> all right, what, what have I missed? I hope you guys entertain yourselves while I was tearing my mm. hair out the fucking internet. Bastard, I missed getting a bottle of that. <laughs> Sorry, Nudge. Ah, that really sucked. Yeah, it was weird. Like a good breakfast buffet. Me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what was going on there. That was fucking. I mean, weird. you didn't change anything, did you? No, I turned this computer on, and it's never it hasn't been turned on since I did the live stream. Oh, no, I'm lying there. I did turn it on for on Monday night, for um, sorry, Monday morning for live by whiskey. But I didn't turn any of this software on. It was just straight yeah. into. Streamyard's link. That was it. So I, I never touched anything. It was all as it was. And when I started all up tonight, it was as it was. I logged myself in. It was all fine. I put myself in. And as soon as you came in, I, I clicked add to scene and it didn't do anything. And then I tried to remove myself and it wouldn't do it. And then refresh and it wouldn't do it. So I don't know. I wonder if that's... Would have been something on my end. No. Nah. No, nah, it's not your end. It was definitely Ninja. It is Ninja. Yeah. But it's been a day of that because Bourbon Junkies fucking, they were on and YouTube decided to fucking die across North America. So. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been one of those days. Good day, old man, Joe. Yeah, it's definitely been one of those days. The internet has fucking shit itself across the, most of the fucking planet. Oh. At least we're working good now. Well, touch wood. That's all good. <laughs> yeah, I've rolled it back a couple of versions. And Glass, eh? Yep. Fifteen year? Are we talking fifteen year Glen Station? Is that what we're looking about? If we can find that, definitely grab it. <laughs> Most definitely. Oh, the fifteen. Oh, yeah. We get this. Um, we can get that over here in um, first choice for like hundred bucks all day long. 
Well, this guy's 15, you know? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I might have to grab me another bottle. Yeah, YouTube completely shit itself, like, dead, dead. <laughs> Starwood ginger beer cast. Fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Glance goes to 15 year Now, shouldn't, the YouTube dying shouldn't be a problem hmm. with OBS Ninja, because that's completely separate. It's got nothing to do with YouTube. <laughs> So, fuck the vino. <laughs> well, are you still using it? Is it still in beta, uh, beta version? Beta version? Yeah, oh, that's what I've been using. I use the beta. I've now rolled back okay. to the normal, the normal um, release. Mm. Interesting. I still don't see how you got that teeth device. Still don't see how you got that ginger cask before me. Maybe it was one of the shipments that came out heading up this way before it headed to your way. I don't know. Mm. Fuck nice, mate. Bunch of slack cut, slack cunts in the post office, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and 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 I got a sample of the. Um... Actually, it was Lil. Over in Brizzy on the 24 hour stream, she was talking about. No, Chris was saying that Lil has the Starwood um, old fashions. I've got oh, a sample really? of that and bring out a new bottle of that. Oh, what do they like? I don't know. I got a little, little sample of it. I mean, I've seen them in Dan Murphy's. So, this is the new Starwood old fashioned still made whiskey cocktail number one. So yeah, I'll have to stick that in the fridge and um, give it a go. Or, do you have, or should I stir it over ice? I don't know. Because, yeah, when you usually do an old-fashioned, you stir it. So I don't know whether you... Or maybe I'll need to look at the website and see... Just how shake that. the bottle. <laughs> the best way. Yeah, shake the bottle <laughs> and just pour it over ice or something. <laughs> I'd be sadder if I can't get a bottle of the Lagerpool and Offerman special. Yeah. If I can't get a bottle of that, I'm going to... Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to do something to get... I don't know. I don't know. I might have to sacrifice some goats and call on some devil worshippers or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I <reckon>. Some satanic <laughs> ritual of some sort to get me a bottle. I'll join you in that, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah. fucking Guinness, one of my favourite beers, and fucking Lagerpool. Got to have it. I know, right? Mm-hmm. I know, me too. Uh, not yet, JD. Not yet. Hopefully this week or next week. Because Simon hasn't got his either yet. Yeah. It's weird. Usually I'll get my stuff. I mean, when we ordered the other Star Word, I got mine like a week before yours. You know, well, it's nice now. So yeah. there you go. We flip, yeah, fair flip. enough. Yeah. <laughs> flip it around a bit. Yeah, but you're not wrong. You did get yours a lot. We did. Come on. Mm. Yeah, it is a little weird. Must be just when they sent them out. I don't know. Yeah, definitely. I've got to get that. Some of that gives. I mean, I did hear the rumor, and I, a couple other people said it's going to be um, a bigger distribution than the last one. All the right. Ultimate special, yeah. And they did say that might be coming to Australia. I did hear that a couple of times. And then someone said, no, it's only North American. I'm like, nah, they're going to do more than that. Because it was quite popular the first one. So. Yeah, I, I reckon think. someone, yeah, I reckon one of these shops um, will get it. <laughs> well, I hope so. Well, I'm hoping the Whiskey Club gets it because yeah. they got the first one. So I'm hoping they get it the next year, next month. I mean, the next bottle out of the Whiskey Club is the Glenfiddich 14 year old. Oh, really? Yeah, all American. <coughs> no, Ugh. wait a minute, it's not American. I think it's European version oak. Ooh. Yeah, Glenfiddich That'll 14 be interesting, version yeah. oak. Yep, all um, European version oak. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, my offer from 11 comes in the mail today in the mail. Nice. So what we can do, if it doesn't arrive, we can buy a few bottles. We'll send them to fucking, to Chris and Lil's fucking boarding thing. And then when they ship over the next, next box of shit. We'll get it through that way. Fair enough. And eventually Chris will let me know how all that works. <laughs> And I can work out how to do yeah. it. All the charges and legalities and all that crap. Yeah, it'd be good to see how they get all these different bourbons and shit in. Well, they're buying them in the States, shipping it to the forwarding address in Florida and then sending them over. And now they've got an address in England as well. So that'll be good to get stuff like the Glen Scotias and shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, did they sell stuff to the public? What? Like to normal people, like once they ship it over their bourbon, do, do they sell it to... No, they don't have a liquor license. Oh, really? No. no. <laughs> that's a whole Damn different kettle of fish. Because you wouldn't even be able to... No. That's a completely different kettle of fish. What? Damn it, I had to put my whiskey club on hold. <laughs> Well, it hasn't come out yet, Nige. That's next month's bottle. This is the Glenfiddich 14. Yeah, damn sure it was a European. I know it was version. Because I looked at it. Ooh. Let's have a look. So I sent the email. No, it wasn't on email. It was on, on the Facebook. Face chook. Uh, whiskey club. Yes. And I got my black knot today. There we go. 14. Da, 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 da. Bell Reserve is here. This is a good club. Um, oh, it is American oak. Okay. So it's been exclusively finished in version American oak. Ooh. One of the most delightfully enjoyable Glen Fiddicks we have ever tasted. You could spend an entire night just nosing it. Sweet pineapple, shortbread, roasted almonds on a divinely creamy, chewy palate, lemon meringue, lychee, flaming marshmallows on the nose, and a soft lingering finish of Jersey Caramels, chocolate orange swirl, and lightly buttered toast. The one-off boiling is exclusive to the club and the first and only time you'll see an official Glenfiddich 14 year old bourbon barrel reserve outside the USA, all thanks to the mighty Blind Power Australia figure this is blah blah blah. And it does look pretty sexy in that um, blue and shit. Pretty sexy. Oh, yeah. I like that blue. That is pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty sexy. So the price is not stupid. Which, well, their normal bottles are usually between 130 and 150 marks, so. Shouldn't be too stupid. So you're having a beer and I just finished the wine. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that was Riesling. Oh, nice. Was it dry or sweet Riesling? Sweet. Nice and fruity. Yeah. A little dry on the end palate, but not too bad. I want... Yeah, I think I want to... <laughs> I was going to say, is this the one that Juju wants? Because when I first saw this, is that, is this the one that Juju wants? I think it is, isn't it? I think it is the one. So she, 
I don't know whether she's seen that thing yet. I wish it was in here because maybe I should send it to her. <laughs> like, guess what the next bottle is? She's gonna go. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's a different tune. What is it? No, it's the same tune, isn't it? Then there was a... Yeah, it's the same shit. Yeah, it looks like the same shit. Yeah, same stuff. I think it's the same shit. The stag looks pretty sexy on the wall. <laughs> Oh, it's a different version. Oh, nice. That would be cool to compare them. So what? what's the one that you're getting? Because the one that you're getting is, is an American only. Yeah, I think they yes. released one a few years what? ago. 14-year-old. Um, it was American Oak. Was it version of that? No, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't think it was. Man, I can imagine that being US only. Yo, know, this one's US only. The one that's coming to the whiskey club is US only. They're they're importing it from the states. Ooh. Yeah, they had. Um, I think they called it the um, Bourbon Barrel Reserve. Yeah, that's what the one that JD just sent me the picture of. No. Because the whiskey club one is is the same thing. Yeah, it looks the same as well. Uh, yeah, forty an hour bourbon barrel was a. Yeah, I think that looks like it, Dirty. Bourbon Barrel Reserve. Yeah, it says um, matured in freshly charred American oak and ex bourbon barrels. Oh, and ex bourbon barrels. Okay, because yeah. this one's saying it's just virgin oak. <laughs> oh, really? That so must be a different one. Yep. Must saying be, yep. It's exclusively virgin oak. Uh, da -da -da. What does it say? Um, yeah, so this is the first time in the distiller's 135 year history that a Glenford has been exclusively finished and version American oak. Ooh. So no normal barrel barrels. This is version oak. Yeah, so your yours must be the newer version. Must be. Yep. Well, that would be cool to try those too, mm -hmm. side by side, to have one that yeah. is version oak and expert and yeah. then just one pure version oak. That'd be pretty nice. No, to it's see. not even version oak, it's freshly charred oak and then bourbon barrels. So that could mean they're using ex bourbon barrels and charring it freshly. Maybe second, third fill, yeah, second, yeah. third fill or anything, whatever, yeah, yeah. Okay. So to get a virgin barrel, that's pretty. That's something different. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's never had liquid in it before. That's mm -hmm. like, yeah. wow. Mm. I'd be interested. In yeah, I might have to grab a couple. If I've got the cash. Well, I think I might have to grab a couple of those because that you're not going to see that fucking every day. <laughs> no. Well, no. <laughs> That's for sure.
Well, e- either way, Juju is going to be fucking excited. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He's going to be very fucking excited. So did you go back and stay up and watch the whole 24 hour stream from start to finish without stepping away? <laughs> hey, I lasted 15 yeah. hours. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's a PB for me. It is. It is. That would be the equivalent of you started at 8.30 today. That would be the equivalent of me staying till 10.30 tomorrow. True. Yeah, that, that, yeah that, was, that was pretty good. I mean, I'm bummed that I couldn't join in the last hour, but I had to help out yeah. my sister, so. The, la- the last hour was pretty fucking mm. good. <laughs> well, that toast was pretty fucking epic. That was, that was awesome. And then I went straight on to Hot Buttery Rolls for like. Yeah, like, I saw that, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I watched their stuff. <laughs> And I was I was tempted to actually come back on afterwards. Good day, mm-hmm. Charles Ashworth. Good day, Charles. <laughs> yeah, I was tempted to actually go back on later and then go on to cheat stream, but I thought, nah, <laughs> yeah. I, might, I might rest the old bones. <laughs> so I got a couple of hours. Ago. No, that was a good. Day. I mean, you set the record, so. Oh yeah, I don't see anybody. Yeah, the beat. no, no. Other than me and Stephen Wade have a leak every now and then, I don't see anyone fucking sitting in the same fucking chair for 24 hours drinking this no. <laughs> And if they do, bring it on. Yeah. I accept the challenge. <laughs> it's good to see old man Joey. He, he stayed the whole time. I know. Legend. Absolute mm. legend. I don't know if I could have. I don't know if I could have sat there for... Well, if I was doing other stuff... Hmm. Yeah, I probably could have. If I was doing other stuff, just sit back and, and do that. Yeah, I probably could have. It's actually easier if you're not on camera. Top <laughs> shelf <laughs> That's it. Just said, just go, buy a new chair, you mow Ron. <laughs> you mow Ron, as in more Ron. No, I don't want to buy another chair. I reckon this chair is the secret. Yep, he it's did so the job. He did the thing. job. Yep, it's so fucking uncomfortable. You can't get drowsy and sleepy in this fucking chair. You just can't do it. If I got a nice, comfy, like I can pull over my my office chair, but I get sleepy in that fucking thing. Okay, I sent an email to the company that says it has it. I'll order three more bottles. Oh, that'll be cool. And then we can all do side by sides. Yeah, that'd be good. I was stretching and watching all the people popping in, and it made it a lot easier. Yeah, very much so. And that's the thing. It's like a yeah. I was like in a control center, pulling people out and pulling out, and you know, making sure it was all working and checking on chat and everything. No, it was good fun. It was awesome. But it was good it's seeing funny. like your whole window full of what you had twelve people. Twelve people, I think was the that was a, yeah, that was. And my system was like happily purring away. We yeah, it was. Yeah, I'm surprised at all when mm-hmm. there was twelve people in there. I'll be back and tick. I'll drain my lizard. All right. So yeah, it was a really good test to having twelve people consistently for quite a amount of time, and the system, yeah ran quite well and I only refreshed it a couple of times because there was a couple of ghosts on there so someone and some couple of people trying to come on on it Alex was trying to come in and his connection was dropping out and it was it was a window of someone trying to come on but it just hanged in and I couldn't delete it get rid of it or whatever now I think we can leave him have that one Joe because he, he did announce that he was going to go drain his lizard so He's allowed to do that. It's when he wanders off and then doesn't come back. Now, if he takes too long, don't get me wrong, if he takes too long and, come, and then comes back, then he has to go change his shirt for sure. But if he does the acceptable amount of time, 
then that's fine. We can allow that. I'm getting like a meat taste on this nose on this. Never like meat. Like Like, um, almost I mean, it doesn't have that strong nose of a silver side, but it's like that. It's like cooked, cooked dry silver side. Before you cut into it. So it's like the outside. Got a nice little bit of sweetness at the end. When you swallow it, it's very warming all the way down. You can feel it going all the way down the middle of your guts. Oh, there we go. Okay. That was like um, pine cedar wood. There's a little bit of ginger when you first, after you swallow it. And then that nice little pine cedar wood at the end. Hmm, interesting. Good day. Mike Stall. Mike! How you going, Mike? Did you see my best whiskey on the shelf video? I put mine up. Haven't seen. Other than Whiskey Samurai and myself, no one else to put. I know Marty's doing his day after tomorrow live stream. A little hungover, but still in there. Okay. Did you have a uh, a full on night last night? Man, that's still hanging around on the pallet. Nice little pine cedar wood. Now he's definitely going to change his shirt. Now he's been way too long. Mm, I like the finish on that. It's almost like when you go to like the sandalwood factory. And it stays around on the pallet. Good day. Yeah, drop. Daniel Strachan. G'day, Daniel. Long time no see. Love the Glen Scotch 15, the best so far. <laughs> we had some folks in stream art. I tried a few too many different ones. <laughs> nice. That was a stream yard party. Where's my invite? <laughs> Any kidding. Good man. I did it. <laughs> yeah, you did. Good man. I was, I was just saying, he's like, no, nah, he's spent way too long. He's going to have to change his shirt now. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube was down. YouTube fucking took a massive shit and died. But that was funny on Bourbon Junkies. They had 700 people and it went down to 100. It fucking died a big, massive death. Mike Stall. Just said good day, Simon. Oh, good day, Mike. Gee, thank you for joining us at this time. In the morning, yeah. Yeah, in the morning, yeah. All right, all this talk about Glen Scotia. I haven't tried this one yet, have I? That's the Peter one. Alright, I'll try I'll have some eleven year old first. <coughs> Do 
this one first. I'm going for the having some cinnamon toast crunch watching whiskey drink. Nice, cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon toast crunch, that's pretty tasty stuff. I could do some of that. Yeah, I haven't had this Sinatra for a while. Might as well crack it now. Well, I got invited to to me mate um, that I'm going to have the Sinatra with. I got invited to drink some darts tonight and I'm like, ah, oh, damn, I'm doing, doing a fucking live stream tonight. <laughs> 11 year old has so much cast condiment in it, it's so cloudy. Oh, really? This one doesn't. Fucking big box. Other than the smudges all over it, it looks pretty clear. Funk. Funky. Won't you take me to Funky Town? <laughs> oh, yeah. Funky with like cream, vanilla ice cream, a bit of custard. It's so good. Ah, oh, fucking eyes. I put some drops in there. Six percent on my bottle's not cloudy at all. Yeah, mine's not cloudy. Mine's clear as. Well, there you go, Daniel. You got, you got an extra good one. You got some chunky bits. Mm. A little bit of green pear, unless the citrus rind note in there as well. Which one there do you just pour? Excuse me. The Glen Scotia 11 year old sherry oh. cast. That's finished in Oloroso in Edgel Menes. What's my favourite distillery after Lagavulin? Uh, Lagavulin. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Lagavulin isn't my favourite distillery. I mean, I don't, I, I don't have one. Oh, honestly, seriously, I don't have one. Glen Scotia. Oh, Glen Scotia is good, but I, I like so many. I mean, I like what Glen Goyle's doing with Kilcarran. I like Springbank. So pretty much all of Campbelltown. But then I like all the Islas. Other than Bowmore. Bowmore's a bit shit. With their standard releases, except for the 15 Darkest. Which is pretty good. Um, but then I like Ben Rick. I like Tamartin. Tamdu. Fucking hell, I like too many. Glen Caddam, Klein Leash, Del Ewan, Del Winnie. <laughs> I mean, like, so many. Glen Scotia's 11, it's 55 pounds. What are you paying down under for it? Uh, <laughs> no idea, because it's unavailable. You yeah. cannot get it. This was... The awesome legend JD sending me this awesome bottle, so yeah. Good fucking luck trying to get one in Australia. Mm -hmm. Does not exist. Yes. Ken's bottle was for free. <laughs> Thank you to the legend. Thank you, JD. So it was zero point zero zero pounds. Um <laughs> yeah, <you>? zero point <laughs> zero. Yes. Oh, fuck, I'm so thankful. This is so good. My favourite distillery is Glenfiddich Ventelsa. Oh, really? Glenfiddich. 
Infinity. I mean, I mean, I would say Talisker is probably. I would agree with Talisker. That's definitely one of my favorite. I mean, Talisker was the first um, whisk uh, scotch that I ever tried, and that got me into scotch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Glenfiddich Twelve was. I had shitloads of bottles of that. That was the one that you know I. I was probably 25 when I started seriously drinking that stuff. Actually, a bit younger than that. Um, yeah, that, that was um, without mixing it or anything, just drinking it as it was. That would be the one that Glenn Fittick was. Yeah, uh, Glenn Libert was the one that actually made me go, oh shit, this whiskey stuff is fucking good. <laughs> nah. It'd be really, really hard for me to pick one. I mean, if you put a gun to my head and say it from the regions, including the non-official regions, and I had to pick one, then I could probably do that. If you had to put a gun to my head. Even that would be hard because I'm like, okay, all right, out of those, out of Countdown, which would you? Because mm. I'm really like, ah. All right, so without accessibility and. Oh, nah, I still like Springbank. <laughs> <laughs> I still like Springbank <laughs> with the haze burn and the long rows and the spring bands. They're fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. And then Glen Stroch is just to die for. And Kill Karen is amazing as well. No, ah, it's brutal. I like showing the Glen Scotia. Take advantage of me being in Europe for now. <laughs> I am so thankful that you love sharing Glen Scotia because I am very fucking happy. Very fucking happy. So JD got a double shout out today on the latest episode with the top five. I mean, oh, not really? top five, the top whiskeys. Oh yeah, yeah I, was, I watched on, that. On yeah, yeah. Oh, you watched that one? Okay. Because we were all on live wire and we all shouted. It, it was Marty's suggestion that we all shouted, shout out <laughs> each other and other channels. So Lord Shane Long's meant to be bringing out, and I shouted him out. So he's he, he, and he said he was going to bring out his first episode on Friday. Yeah, yeah. And he, he needs to bring out at least two fucking episodes on Friday. Yeah. And I shouted out Swags at Nashville as well to do his top whiskey of the moment. Yeah, no, I remember watching that, <laughs> Mark. I do watch your show. Don't worry. <laughs> well, you have to watch the episode because I did not mm. only bourbons, but I did scotch as well. So I did bourbon and scotch. No, I watch your, I watch yours too, Ken. Oh, you watch the episode. Yep. Okay. What you? Yep. Clannish fourteen was my downfall, as it made me buy all the scotch I could get my hands on. I could totally understand that. I mean, Clannish fourteen is good. Mm. And then, like the Lowlands, I love Bladnock. I love. Yeah. Um, what's your name? Brain fart. White box. Fuck. You got me there, Lowlands. Um, Glen Kenji. <laughs> yeah. Glen Kenji. I was thinking K, K, K. I'm like, no, it's a Glen K. Ocentoshin, that's another lowlands. Yeah, not a fan. I mean, I killed my bottle of the three board pretty quick on that. The American cask on that is like, eh, it's a bit meh. Yeah, Ocentoshin's kind of. I mean. 
I've never had the triple wood. What's that like? What's that like? It's it's similar to. Um, I'm trying to think. Something that's kind of woody. It it does have a good woody note to it. Um, it's kind of dry on the finish. It's like it's all right. It's nothing special, I and mean, the ABV is a bit lacking. Uh, it could definitely be better, but it's it's all right for the price. But it's not something I'd go and and reach for on the shelf. No, okay. It'd have to be one of those ones that'd be like, ah, just yeah. there's nothing else. I'll just have it because it's there kind of deal. Oh. I'd always grab something else over it. Fair enough. Someone came into the shop today and asked for a 45 year old Alexander Murray. Wowzers. Good luck trying to find that. <laughs> <laughs> good day. Donald Rance. Oh, good day, Donald. Good day, Donald. How you going, mate? Yeah. Free wood, sorry, not triple wood. Free wood. This is what happened the empty box. Yeah, I bought it ages and ages ago because it wasn't that expensive. Really. Mm. It's all right. You can, you can get it on special for about $70. Yeah, so I think that's still a bit much. Really? Yeah. yeah. If it was sixty, I'd probably grab it. So I mean, it's, like, yeah, it's normal price is about not... ninety. Yeah, exactly. That's way over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, way over price. Sixty, seventy, I might consider. But I'm thinking. I mean, I'd rather have the Glen Grant Alvarados for that. No. Yeah. That money. I'd actually probably have a Glen at 12. Over that. It's just woody and then not much else. Yeah, fair enough. Kind of dryish woody. What I remember. And the, the American cast, meh. That didn't really do much for me. It was kind of bland and boring. Mm. Oh, yeah, the American oak, yeah, that's... Mm. Yeah, well, the, the three wood is like that, but just more woody. It's got okay. a bit more woody, rich character to it. But other than that, it's a bit, eh. Yeah, stick to Blood Oak. <laughs> Big on the guy, Lowlands. What is that? Is that Lowlands? Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, it's loaded. It's, it's Chris's from HBR's favourite scotch. Mike Stall. Oh, really? Just yep. said, Simon, what is your favourite distillery? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. I know, this is an impossible fucking thing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it just depends what mood, what... Exactly. Where I am, exactly. It's like saying, what what's season? Movie? I mean, yeah. Start like saying, "What's your favorite child?" <laughs> yeah, well, everyone says that cliche, but it's like, pick your favorite meal, or pick mm. your favorite movie, or pick your favorite song. I mean, no one has just one. It, it really depends yeah. on it just mood. Depends and, where you're at at, at that time. time. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And you don't you don't just watch. You don't, I mean, you don't yeah. just listen to one song. You're like, whatever mood you're feeling, you're going to listen to one song and then you go to another one and another one and another one and another one. Yeah. And you might stay in that same kind of genre where you might spread out. It's the same when you watch a movie, you, you, you know, you're going to watch one movie and the next time you watch another movie, you're not going to watch that exact movie again unless you're some weird odd person. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Mark. Did you get that? Yeah. It's just... yeah. So it's the same with whiskey. It's pretty yeah. much impossible to pick one. The impossible question, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Now, if you phrase it as, like I've said before, if someone stomped in the door right now and put a gun towards me and said, okay, you have 20 minutes, you have to grab one fucking bottle that you can readily accessibly buy with your own money right now that's on your shelf, 
that you know that you can go to the shop and buy, and you're going to take that one bottle with you to a desert island, what would you grab? I'd go Talisker 10 year old. Talisker 10? Well, me yeah. would be lighter than 16. I've always no, said that's my favorite. Yeah. yeah. But that's not my favorite distillery. It's not mm. my favorite. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. just one. Mm-hmm. That's just one I would grab yeah. if it was only, if it was something like it, really accessible grab from the shelf, and it was going to be my desert island, I'd grab that. Now, mm-hmm. currently, like I did on that episode, my favorite whiskey of all fucking time right now, right at this instant, is this fucking Campbelltown. Yep. Specialist. But I can't get this to save yeah. my fucking child. <laughs> if I had to buy one of these right now to, to otherwise, you know, my wife and kid would get fucking executed. They would die because I can't get it. <laughs> and then I'd have to kill myself because the world ended. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, oh my God. Oh my fucking God. This stuff's amazing. Hope that answers your question, uh, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> But then, you know, in five minutes' time, I'll be like, okay, I want um, Glen Kinchy or I want exactly, fucking yeah, yeah. Uh, Lock Dorm, you know, from Kill Home. And, you know. Yeah. Speaking of which, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, right, yeah. <laughs> you got it right there. Haven't had it for a while. <laughs> yeah. After when I was stuffing around on uh, Live by Whiskey, as Mike would know, when I had my fort. Did you see my fort of Lagavulin? Yes, one? I did, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then you stacked your bourbons on top. <laughs> and then the next they asked what bourbon were you going to have, so I stacked my bourbons on top. <laughs> there you go, Donald. Yeah, exactly. That's how you feel about the Middleton. Yep. Dear gear left. I mean, that shit, yeah. I could never get that stuff. That's it. I mean, there's so many drams out there that are just amaze balls trying to mm. pick one. And yeah. and and when you say favorite distillery, I'm like, oh. all right. So I'll throw this back around. What would be your favorite distillery on your desert island? Jesus, um, Ooh. favorite distillery. So you could have any of the ex- Well, we might have to tie it down. So, okay, going back to the something that you can buy on the shelf right now with your own money, so not some weird oddball bottle. So standard releases from a distillery on your desk on what would be that distillery? Donald's going with Brook Laddie or Middleton. We can't have both. We could have one or the other. It's a desert island distillery. I'm going to join you and I'm going to say Lager Bullen. I mean, they're 12 year olds. Eight. Yeah, not 12 year olds. 16s. Yeah. 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 I'd say, yeah, like them all then. Brook Laddie is a pretty fucking good one. <laughs> Dang it, Donald! Just one! <laughs> um, you give me Milton. I thought you'd say that, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, the like Lager Bullen 12 year olds are just, I reckon they're the pinnacle. I disagree, Mike. I disagree. It's like trying to pick your best song or your best movie. Every time you ask someone, it's going to yeah. be a different answer. 
Unless but it's yeah. some night art that just has one fucking movie. But imagine but yeah. if that was the one movie you had to watch for the rest of your life. Hmm. Whenever That's you watch something yeah, on the screen, yeah. it's that same movie. Yeah. Or that same song over and over and over for the rest of your fucking life. And it's the same with a dram. That same dram for the rest of your fucking life. Yep. I would go Lagerwoolen, 12-year-old. No, it was favourite distillery. Your favourite distillery on the desert island. So you can have any of their standard expressions. Yep, Lagerwoolen. Lagerwoolen? As long as I got the 12-year-old, I would be happy. <laughs> well, it depends which year, though. Because <laughs> some of those years are a bit meh. Like the latest couple of years I've heard aren't the best. Like, I love the 2017, and that's amazing, but... No, I've got the 18 and I've got the um, special release uh, 2020. Well, that, that's a special release. That's not a staple. That You can't count that. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Standard yeah. releases. Yeah. I don't even go the same drain twice in the night, typically. Exactly. Yeah, that exactly. You yeah. made my own point. <laughs> exactly. Good point, Mike. You probably played for the education many of the employees down the years. <laughs> um, I'm trying to go. A distillery. It just can't I mean, pick it. It's the impossible. Well, the one I keep thinking of, like Brook Lady, is definitely a good choice because you've got a, you know from all the way from Classic Lady all the way up to mm. Baltimore. With the Bria Bali and the Port Charlotte. I mean, those are amazing. Okay, I'll go Springbank. For the, the normal expressions? Not, no, not crazy. Spring, Springbank, they own Hazelburn, they own. Um, what's it called? Okay, yeah, all right. Well, that's Kill Karen. <laughs> no, they don't own Kill Karen. <laughs> no, it that's is. Same oil. No, um, Springbank do own Kill Karen. No, distillery, not company. Distillery. Ooh, Ooh a little bit of trickery. No, <laughs> you can't pick <laughs> Kill Glen Goyle. Because <laughs> they. Glen Goyle. Yeah. Glen Goyle, it's a different distillery. Ooh, but they're using Springbank. Barley. I know that the half of the staff goes over there and they're owned by the same company, but doesn't count. It's it's one distillery. I'm going to go yeah. Loch Lomond. No, I'm still going to go Springbank. Well, Springbank, you only get Hazelburn, Springbank, and... Um, Longray. Longray, yeah. Standard yep, releases. No. no extra, no no fancy ones. No, 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 no one-offs. Yep, yep. Standard. Yep. Yep. I'm happy with that. Yep. I'll go with, I'll go with Loch Lomond because you've got all the normal Loch Lomonds, and then you've got Inchmoor and Inchmoor as well, and there's such a wide breadth of stuff just in those three, and then they do a bunch of other stuff. So I, I might go with that. No, yeah. Exactly. See, Donald's onto it. He knows what I'm talking about. Loch Lomond is a great choice. Such a versatile distillery. Exactly, because they do a bit of everything. No, I'm sticking with um, Springbank. That Springbank long, is a fucking that, good choice, too. <laughs> that Long Row 18 is still probably, I would say, the best whiskey I've had all year, if not the last couple of years. Yeah, and, that's yeah. saying, and that's saying a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you should do your first episode and do your best whiskey of 2021 on your shot that kills his oh. fucking toes up. It's probably going to be that long ride, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I've already done my two shout-outs, but I hereby shout you out. By Friday, <laughs> you have to do your best whiskey of 2021 <laughs> on your shelf. I wish I don't even have a channel. Well, make one. I will eventually. You, <laughs> you got a camera? You got a microphone? Just do what you do right now and record that shit. But I don't have any of the edi editing software. You don't even have to edit it. If you start the camera and end the camera, 
and then upload it, or even just do it fucking live. No excuses. And if you want editing software, you can download a shitload of editing software. I'm biased. I like DaVinci Resolve because it's the best in the fucking universe. And it's free. Completely fucking free. No excuse. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, so Middleton is a good choice because they do fucking everything. <laughs> Yeah, he'd bathe in powers, John Lane. What, what about the green spots and the reds and the blues? And yeah, you got all those as well. That's all Milton. <laughs> I have to meet you guys for a few. There's a best whiskey on my bar video I have to watch. Like, my video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's called Simon after eight hours on Ken's stream. That's what that's called. <laughs> now, nah. signing up. Yeah, Middleton is a good fucking choice. I mean, they do everything under the sun. So, okay, if we were going to talk Irish, I would definitely pick Middleton. I'd be like, yep, easy, Middleton. Yeah. So, Donald, if it's going to be Scotch, you still do Desert Island Distillery. Which one? Oh, you said Brook Lady, so that, that'll be it. I'll, I'll allow you, you to change it if you thought of another one. So in Irish, you're going to pick Milton, and I would definitely concur with that. Milton would be the better way to go. Anything else, I mean, Cooley does pretty good stuff, but yeah, I, nah, I'd get Milton. What would you pick, Simon? Same question. Well, Irish? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Middleton. Bushmills, yep. Well, Bushmills isn't Melbourne. Isn't it? Nope. No, really. Well, I'll go Bushmills. You go Bushmills? Yep. That's not a bad choice. Brook for Scotch, hands down. Yep, I can totally get that. I mean, I was... When you said that, I'm like, yeah, Brook Lady's pretty damn good. I could go with that. <laughs> but then I'm like, yeah. You pick Waterford? Yeah. I mean, they don't have any too many staple releases at the moment. A lot of their stuff is pretty fresh and new, but the stuff's pretty good. I could say that. Waterford's pretty good. Waterford is like the... The big bad brother of the book bloody Terrar kind of deal thing. All right, Australian. I'm going to go Lionburner straight away. That's not without ever thinking about it. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. All right, American. American. Yep. Yeah. Mm. I'll go wild turkey. Yep, wild turkey, I'll join you. Yep. And that's pretty easy. I mean, you've got the Rise, you've got the 101s, you've got the Berries, you've got the 7092s, you've got the fucking Russells. Yeah, I'd be quite happy with that. <laughs> that range. <laughs> cheers, Donald. Don't work too hard, mate. Yeah. Yeah, cheers, Donald. Got 13 different bottles and they're all pretty good. But most of those are all one offs. I mean, they've only got a few that are actually going to be their staples, don't they? Because I bought out those, I think it was three when they put out. I'm, I'm not too, too up to scratch with them. I know they bought out range. I think there was, think there was three they started with. They were meant to be their staple ones, but then they got a bunch of other shit. Doc Swinson's? Yeah, see, I don't know fuck all about Doc Swinson. <laughs> but I'd be happy with turkey. I mean, if, if you really want to go crazy, you couldn't say Andrew P because... You know... <laughs> 
I'm thinking you got to pick something that has a label and a name and you know, their own kind of thing. NGP's like, yeah. No, I think I'd go Walton. And if it's going to be Texas, I'll pick Brimstone. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll catch it. But saying that, is an iron root. Iron root's meant to be pretty fucking amazing. But I've never had it, so. From what I understand, I would have it. Doc Swins is an NDP, not a distiller. I'm not sure that counts. That's what I was thinking. That's that's why I was going with the MGP. That that don't count. You have to pick a distiller. Yeah, that's what I reckon. That's the distiller. Mm -hmm. and they make their own shit. All right, what are we having next? Don't you remember? You said what we were having next. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> oh, not gone. Yeah, you've forgotten already. How drunk are you? <laughs> <laughs> drunk enough. <laughs> drunk enough. <laughs> I'll save that one for a little bit later. So my awesome Glacier collection. I mean, technically MGP counts, not MGP covers extra number of NDP services. It's reaching, okay, what the fuck proportions? I agree, but... Well, trying to have my cake on icing is probably stuck on mine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, what does NGP actually bring out itself, though? Let do yours. Hmm. It was funny. I was sitting down down here with my missus. She goes, what's that smell like? Smell, and it was the 2020 best one. Little tiny, tiny little smidge on the bottom of the glass. <laughs> Amazing <bottle> of liquid. <laughs> you like that? Which one do you have? The 2018? Yeah, you got the 19, I've got the 18. Yep. No, I've got the 20. I've got the 20. Oh, you got the 20. Yeah. Texas, I like iron root most. See, yeah, I want to try iron root. I've never had an iron root, so I have no idea. Mm. What I know, I would go Falconis, but I hear iron root is most bold. I will catch you on that stream tomorrow, Mr. Mike. I'll be there at 10 o'clock in the morning. Live wire whiskey. And we can pull the piss out of each other who hasn't done their fucking best on their bar episode yet. I mean, I've still got two days to go. <laughs> Oh, there you go. So NJP does have a couple of in-house releases. 
but it's still got to be only NGP expressions. You can't be anything else that's done from somewhere else using NGP. Oh, you got to take the kid to get his first vaccine. Hey, have fun with that. Yeah. You'll be around for the stream tonight. Nice. Yeah, I'll be there. I don't have daddy duties in the morning. I'll do that this morning. I've got daddy duties this weekend. Problem with those expressions is they have limited distribution anyway. Yeah, that sucks. Mm. You guys in 30, 60 minutes? Yep. Catch you then. Yeah, cheers, Mark. Thank you for joining Bye, us. Guys. Cheers, Mark. Man, this is so fucking good. It is, isn't it? Mm. Mm. And then the Ooh. balance between the peat and the sherry just... Yeah, it's really well done. I mean, for me, peated sherries, I'm kind of 50-50, but this is, this is one of the good ones. Well, that festival release is fucking... Mm. So well balanced. That's that's one that definitely kicks ass. Um, but yeah, saying that, like the the Glendronic traditionally peated, I find that very very the peat is kind of almost not there. Ah, it's only a slight bit of smoke. What about your Glendronic peated? Yeah, I haven't that's had it for a while. I have to go revisit it. Yeah. <laughs> But it was pretty, last time I had it, I was pretty happy with it, so. Yep. I find the Lafroy PX gas is pretty well done. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> what about the, I mean, I've got a Lafroy triple wood. Yeah, triple wood is always fucking good. I've got yeah. a triple wood right there. That's always good. Um, I mean, like the wall and... It's pretty damn good. Mmm. <laughs> 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 it's good. Mmm. Yep. Oh yeah. Like wooden distillers edition. Yeah, bingo. That's a fucking good drop. Yeah. Yeah, I've never actually had that one. <clears throat> I haven't. I haven't had a bottle of it on the shelf, but me and Scotty killed a bottle. Actually, oh. a bottle and a half <laughs> and we killed at, at the local bottle shop. I mean, pub. Because no. every time we would go in there, we were like, like one, like one. <laughs> we pretty much killed that whole bottle ourselves. I mean, the only problem I have with it is it's pretty much the same price or more expensive than the um, 12 year old. It is. And that's why I always say, like, I always say they're both mm. very similar. Good you day. can go either way. They're both good. Frederick. Good day, Frederick. Oh, good day, Frederick. <clears throat> they're both. They're both really the same. I, I would say my favourite expression is Lager Wall and R12 and the Distillers Edition. Those, those two. Because <clears throat> that's what I always uh, wanted. It's, I mean, it's 200 bucks pretty much. And is it mm. worth $200? It's, it's pretty fucking good. Mm. I mean, you could ask me one day and I'd say one over there. They're, they're so fucking... Neck and neck. G'day, fuckers. <laughs> you can't just type it in, you know. I'll let it go through. 
And that comment that you put on there just made me fucking laugh. Random FPV, you put on the video. <coughs> and I couldn't, I can't not help hearing the sound and seeing him when, when it was like, this goes too. <laughs> Likes the funky drum. That made me laugh. Uh, might comment on the. No, he didn't. He didn't comment. We got to fuck around with OBS Ninja tomorrow and see what the fuck's going on. Yeah, I reckon. That's it. Broken. I mean, it was a beta, but still, it, it worked when I added myself in. It worked fine, and then see, as soon as you came in, it just wouldn't fucking. I couldn't pull <laughs> anyone out or anyone in. It just wouldn't fucking have a bar of it. Fuck. Oh, Here. When are you back to work? Uh, Monday. Monday? Yep. So this is actually probably the last Whiskey Wednesday I'll be, do I'll be doing for you guys. So you're going... Oh, you're doing that couple of months on site. No, oh, I've okay. got um, down in Perth. I've got six weeks doing um, highway, oh, okay. doing a highway job. Nice. But I mean, I've got to be up at pretty much. Well, it starts at Very seven fun. seven a.m. So you know, it's about one and a half. So yeah, I'll be up at about four thirty a.m. Yep. Yep. <laughs> So, yeah, I probably won't be able to join you on your Whiskey Wednesdays. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. You've got to do what you got to do, man. Yep. <laughs> so you'll be staying on site or are you driving each day? Yeah, driving each day. Yeah. I mean, it's about an hour and 20 minutes. Good Chris Tats. Good day, Chris. Yeah, good day, Chris. Chris. Yeah, doing pretty good. How are you doing? Here we go. <laughs> you got to pick one, JD. <laughs> My two favourite Scotch distilleries right now, Glen Scotia and Tomartin. Yep, I'm with you on that. But runner-ups are Edredor, Scarpa, Deanston, Beaumont, Glen Cadham, Glen Tranic, but not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the future bottles of Glen Tranic. Yeah, exactly. Very much so. Yeah, all those are good choices. Mm -hmm. Except for Bowmore. I think a bit meh. Unless you get the uh, 15 year old darkest. The 15 is the exception. That's about mm -hmm. the only decent. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've, I've killed a, a couple of bottles of Bowmore. Yeah, they're kind of lacking. Which is a shame because Bowmore used to be fucking amazing balls. Yeah, yep. Mm. Just arrived home from work. Little's already asleep. The shoe is on a 6 a.m. start in the morning. Yikes. Good day. W. O'Neill. G'day, William. How you going, mate? Yeah. Working yeah. and lurking. No, you're all good, mate. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> what am I going to do for the next two months without my sidekick? <laughs> no, I'll be for the Wednesdays. I'll join you on the, oh, sorry, the Friday. The Fridays? Yep. 
Oh, yeah, for the weekends, yeah. yeah, yeah, weekends, yeah. yeah. What am I going to do on Whiskey Wednesdays? I'm not going to have a sidekick. I like that. That'll be the, the yeah. Ken show. The Ken show, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'll miss these uh, little Whiskey Wednesdays. We'll have to make it up when we get back. Mm. And you'll have lots of new bottles with all those monies you're going to make, so... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have to have some auditions, Ken. <laughs> some auditions. Yeah, auditions. Well, we've got to get Aussies in here, that's the thing. It's a bit hard to yeah, do the yeah, that... in the fucking States. I need some more Aussies. I need some crazy bastard Aussies like me that'll mm. stay up after the night. Yeah. It's a bit hard. <laughs> Because most of the Aussies are on the East Coast, so, you know, they're already two hours ahead. And then the work and shit. Yeah. Then even for the Americans, I mean, it's pretty much Wednesday morning. Yeah, it's work time. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Yeah, pretty tough hour. I mean, I have the advantage of work for myself, so... You know, I can get away with working and lurking mm -hmm. on a stream, but then for like live by whiskey and like tomorrow I'll, I'll be on here because I know I don't have any appointments in the morning, so I can I can be on here. I can get away with it. I did have an appointment earlier, but I would have been finished by ten o'clock, so I could have come home. And oh, okay. Weird. Chris Tats just said I was just about to say it is three quarters of the night for us here on East Coast. Exactly. So it makes it difficult. Mm. And I can't replace you, man. I mean, you're the sidekick. I can't replace you. <laughs> Yeah, you would have to make what could what could you do for Wednesday? What could you call it? Something different. Well it's still gonna be whiskey Wednesday. Lego Wednesday? Nah, see I don't wanna do I don't wanna put the Lego onto Whiskey Wednesdays. Nah. I just want just just whiskey and whiskey Wednesdays. Legos for other days. Yeah, exactly. Who else is gonna change your shirt? <laughs> it's only for a couple of months. We can get away with it. I mean, I might join you in chat. <laughs> no, you need some sleep. You got to get up at Sparrow's part. That's I mean, you'd be able to come in for an hour or so, but that'll be it. Yeah, but I won't be drinking. I mean, they've got no. breathos, <laughs> breathos in mornings. <laughs> yes. Exactly, yeah, and you have to fucking drive. <laughs> yeah. You might be able to join for a bit next week. Nice. But you will have me Friday. Yeah, well, this Friday... So when are you working? Monday. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. So this Friday I've got RSL, but yeah, I'll probably come online. Uh, what about Saturday? Yeah, yeah, I've got I've got to take Samuel to dance and then ah. to daycare on. I think he's got daycare on Saturday, but that's not stupid. At and Sunday I've got to take him to a footy game, a uh, soccer game, which is footy, but yeah. 
He's got a nine o'clock in the morning game, so I've got to be there at 8.30 in the morning. Hmm. At Fridays, you should be all right. Yeah, it well, depends what time I finish. Yeah. So, mm. so you're going to be in Darwin from Friday until Sunday? What are you doing in Darwin, Chris? What? Flying up to old Darwin? Ooh. I wouldn't mind going up there for fucking in the beginning of November <laughs> for the lightning season. That'd be pretty epic. Hey, 30 minutes and it's JD drinking time. Yeah, it's JD drinking time. Bit of work and catch up with my brother. Nice. Escaping the cold. <laughs> it ain't cold here. It's like 30 degrees uh, in here. Oh, really? This week, yeah, it's still in the high 20s. Oh, shit. No, it's uh, 12 degrees where I am. Yeah, it's less than that, uh, more than that there, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Weird. I mean, you're only, what, about six hours from me? Yeah, six hours is pretty yeah. decent time, the temperature. I'm probably 20-something. Yeah. Eight degrees the other morning, currently 15 degrees. In prison, but it's a bit cold. Yeah. Yeah, it's 28 tomorrow. 28 90 tomorrow? Humidity. Yeah, 28 tomorrow. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's been high 20s. It was 31s pretty much all last week. It's currently 17 degrees at 90% humidity. Shit. Yeah, so it ain't cold. Hence escaping the cold, yeah. And going to Darwin is going to be a bit of a fucking... Uh, definitely escaping the fucking holes. <laughs> Twenty six degrees, seventy percent humidity in my humidor. Both of that it'll be <laughs> yeah, ninety percent fucking humidity in the air right now. That's seventeen point two degrees. Yeah, it's definitely school shorts and fucking t shirt brother. <laughs> Pleasant 32 degrees by day and 264 degrees at night. Yeah, that's about <laughs> fucking right. And 9,000% humidity. <laughs> the air is just right for drinking. Yep. Fucking earth. Mm. 
So I was thinking of making a super cut of the 24 hour stream. Oh, really? Yeah. Just to make out like a 20 minute super cut. Yeah. So how did we both shape up after the marathon weekend? Well, I was, I was good. I was fine. I mean, as soon as the stream ended, I went on to hut by the rolls and then I went and had a couple of hours sleep. And then at <laughs> night, I think I went to bed. Midnight, which was early for me, and then got up at seven, so I had like seven hours sleep, and then I was fine. <laughs> barbecue on Sunday and barbecue mafia was great. I bet it was. <laughs> I only lasted 15 hours. Yeah, 15 hours. Which is actually a PB, PB for me. So now we just got to add another seven hours mm -hmm. and then a couple more hours and you'll be fine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Super cut all the highlights, three high and toes, drunken arguing, people falling asleep in camera, everyone telling the camera left without saying anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. The super cut. <laughs> That's it. And all my shirt changes. You gotta add that. Yeah, do a montage of all the shirt changes. <laughs> it's gonna take a bit of work because I need to download mm. the videos and unload them up and cut them all up. Yeah, I could pretty much do that. I've been thinking about doing it. Yeah, the montage <laughs> with some music. And like just be you sitting there with different shirts <laughs> flashing through. <laughs> bottle kills, yeah. Oh, all the bottle kills? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Monos of all the bottle kills. Yeah. Shirt changes. Yeah. All the funny moments. I'll have to get onto that. Twenty-four hours super cat. <laughs> Bottle kills. Yep. Yeah, that was a. What, 13 bottle kills or something? <laughs> yep, Simon shirt change montage set to dramatic license free music. <laughs> <It's out. laughs> <clears throat> and a shame it wasn't in 4K because then I could punch in on it. I can make it work. No oh, shit. That sounds good, Chris. Yeah. Cracking it on Sunday night. Nice. <laughs> Fourteen bottle kills. That's right, I'll do a counter on the bottle kill montage. <laughs> It'll be like ding 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 ding. <laughs> Need to get some hundred and thirty two proofers sent over from the US. Dang.
So what whiskey should we have after this? Yeah. Well, we are on peat, so... Mm. Mild peat? Yeah, mild. Mm. Tasty good fucking beat at that. Chat with my friend, which is the owner of. Hard to say. Uh, Lexington is going to ship me some bottles over some time for years. So I said we were going to. Oh, cool. Nice. <laughs> so, what are we having next, Ken? Uh, ben Rick, twenty one. Could do the Ben Rick, twenty one. If you already come on Saturday night, but I thought oh, I'd be in the Stanley and Alex ten rounds. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, we could do some Ben Rick, twenty one. Oh, what? What do you reckon? What are you feeling like? Uh, good question. Oh, you haven't got the, the, um, what's her name? Belichon, have you? No, I don't. Um, mm. Well, you do your long run, I'll do the Belgian. All right, but first I'll go drain my music. Well, I've still got to finish this now first. Yeah. I swear those two were wine, not at all. Alex was definitely drunk. That's for sure. Yes, kitty cat. What? In and out, like a yo cat. I still can't believe I did 24 hours. It's crazy. And I didn't pass out. No falling over drunk. No passing out. And I was pretty conservative in my drinking. I must admit, I didn't go crazy at all. I took it nice and easy, which was pretty smart. <clears throat> Fucking good fun, man.
Let's mix up the background. Do we want fire? Or rainbow? Or just change the background. Chris Tats just said I was expecting you to be all Mel Gibson as William Wallace for the closing toast wearing only a kilt and your face painted. <laughs> Instead of saying freedom, it would be whiskey! <laughs> when you said Mel Gibson, I was thinking of that video clip when he's fucking... Was that Mel Gibson? No, that was... Wasn't there a video of him completely maggoted? No, I'm thinking of, um... Yeah, was it Mel Gibson with the, with the burger? It was Mel Gibson or it was, um, Knight Rider. Fucking... Uh, what's his lady name? Fuck, sorry. Him. And he's on the fucking floor with the hamburger, maggot, and his daughter came in. I think it was him, I don't think it was now. There is a, there is a video of him fucking maggot. Abusing police, there are many. No, not, not the abusing police one. Oh, what's his fucking name? Hasselhoff, the Hoff, that's it. Yeah. And he's on the floor, fucking maggoted with that burger, trying to eat it. He's all fucked up. <laughs> that's what that's what I didn't want to end up like. Could have easily gone that way. But I was, yeah, I was fucking fine. Perfectly fine. I was tired as fuck and my back was killing me, but other than that, I was good. I can say we know what a Scotsman goes under his skill. That's right, his wife lives dead. <laughs> exactly! Cha ching! <laughs> nice. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I did not want to turn into. Hey man, that's just so fucked up. Yeah, he was a mess. What's that baby cat doing? I always got black background too. Mounted pub side background. Oops, wrong one. I want to turn off. Mounted pub! <laughs> that looks pretty good actually, with the glow. Like that. I'm just fucking around. Fireworks, let's see. Good man.
Nice salmon pink shirt. <laughs> no, I reckon. All right, here we go. Long row 18. Long row 18. I'm still on the uh, lock wall. <laughs> well, I'll wait till you finish that. And... No, no, go for it. Go for it, man. No, really? Oh, it's all right. Right. Competition? Yeah. It's not a dream. How much have you got there left? I can't, I can't think it'd be much left of that. Yeah, she's down there. Yeah. <laughs> she's getting down there. You definitely enjoyed that one. Oh, yeah. Is that the last spoof movie where the guy's in jail and his cellmates are Johnny Depp and Jack Sparrow, Captain Morgan, Love Your Rum, and Mel Gibson, Glug Glug Glug, Boom Boom Boom, Woohoo? <laughs> Here you go, Simon. I'll still Not be yet, there. Jamie. I will still be there for the Fridays. Yeah, I should open that one, shouldn't I? Yeah, we should do that. I did have it down here. I was going to open it. Jesus, so fucking good. So we'll have that one. So instead of the battle tin, I'm going to have the glance catcher tin. That is true. <laughs> he will be able to claim, claim the changes <laughs> in the washing and laundry like <laughs> You actually might not be wrong, Chris, I reckon. Yeah. Of course you can. You're working. <sighs> Especially when you be wearing high vis and all that shit. Yep. Steel cap. Yep. Tax deductions all the way around. Oh, you ordered the 10 year old unpeated. Mm, nice. Man, Scotia. Yummy, yummy. Man, I hope I get the chance to buy another long rate 18. I mean, fucking hell. Have you looked around? I would pay 300 bucks, hands down, no problems. I'm surprised you haven't shopped around a family. Yeah. He's looking right now. <laughs> Yep, Dido, not Fifo. Oh, perfect. Nix is selling it. Yep. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Well, extra thirty five bucks for delivery. Yeah. But still. Not I'll pay that. I'll pay that. The North East Scotland, which would only a first fill bourbon barrels to reach the subtly smoky and briny character of Glen Scotia 10 year old Peter. A memorable Campbelltown malt. Classic. Gently matured and first fill bourbon barrels. 46% ABV. Non chip filter. Natural gun. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah, exactly, uh, Chris. Yep, it will be drive in, drive out. You are right.
So I uh, will still be seeing you guys on Friday and whatever Ken wants to do on the weekends. It's a drive in, drive out, yeah. Jim. Um, we've definitely got uh, Star Trek Saturday night too. Oh, really? Yeah. Because we pushed it. Back to oh, okay, yeah, yeah. This is a 24 hour power thing. Twenty-four hour power screen. <laughs> Nine minutes for Glen Scotia 2021 festival. Count down those minutes. Nine minutes to go. Nice. Yeah, me too, Chris. I've got that sucker loaded up. I've got to buy that. Yeah, I've got the website loaded up. I need, need to buy that. Get that to a droid. Yeah, that'll, that'll be a, uh, just a one-off build. It's only a small kit. But there, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I've got to get one of them. You're the engineer, Jim. You should be able to fix that. <laughs> Probably in the chat. Or you can just you can be on on site on your phone. Oh joint build stream, yeah let's do that. That'd be sick. Yeah, let's do it. Let's make it happen. That'd be good fun. Yeah, let's do that for sure. And I'll set it up so we have, um, I'll do it so then we follow the instructions at the same time. Got one slacker in chat. Smack that button's ass. <laughs> and we got 1313. We're all good. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> oh, now we got twelve fourteen. Thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> Cheers, Bevan Baller. Bring it up. <laughs> yep, sounds like a plan. Yeah, I agree. It, it, you know, if we have both of our streams on there, and then I can put the the instructions up, we can, we'll still have the instructions, you know, so we can see. But it'll be same time build. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be fun. I shall uh, acquire that kit. And someone else wanted to do it. Who else was it? Someone else wanted to do one as well. Is that Big League? I think that was Big League, doesn't it? It's nice down the bottom there, it's got a little band that says Peter, 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 Peter. I'm like, nice. All the way around, Peter, Peter, Peter. <laughs> I like it. Victorian whiskey capital of the world. Glen Scotia, now one of only three distillers that have survived through the present day. That's it.
Yeah, I'm with you on that, Chris. I want to get that R2 as well. Yeah, I've got the original. I'm definitely keen to get that new one. Just got to get the funds. Maybe I should get it. Hmm, fuck, that's good. Mm. Mm. That looked on. Well, I got a couple of people thinking of buying, I'm looking at buying a couple of my prints from the Lightning Show. Tuesday morning. No, oh, good. So if I get those sales, I can buy that later. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Second brother's got the best done. Yeah, that's that's a nice kit. Would love to have got that Millennium Falcon in and that Star Destroyer. Now that Star Destroyer is back on sale, but that's eleven hundred fucking bucks. That thing. And a rum collection. Nice. Ooh, this has got a nice sweep. Got a nice sweep. <laughs> That's the 11 year old, uh, sorry, 10 year old Peter. Okay. It's definitely got that Land Scotia funk, but it's got this nice sweet note. Like, I can't smell. Oh, I really like that. A little fresh, it's like lemon sherbet. Then sherbet and fresh cut grass. Like little green grass. Uh, Aaron, yeah, I do. Yep, I can do product for Doggy. I actually like doing product for Doggy. It's, it's a lot of work and but it, it's fun building up to do the yeah, it is a lot of work. 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 But it is fun building that image up. Depending on the product. I don't have the facilities for cars and motorbikes and stuff like that, even though. Nice to have a studio to do that kind of thing. That would be fun. Love the Milky Way shots? Thanks. Did you see the lightning shot? I put up a few of them. Today and yesterday. The last storm. So I was up all night. Tuesday night. Chasing lightning. It was good fun. Go on Instagram. Or on Facebook. And uh, Ken Wilson for probably. Yeah. And it was one strike. Fuck, it was loud. Fucking blinded the shit out of me. <laughs> and went off with a big fucking crack. Made the ground rumble. It was awesome. Makes That's you feel crazy. alive when that happens. Yeah, it was yeah, pretty yeah, epic. I reckon. Actually, I can just show the fucking things, can't I? I have the technology. 
One of my best mates is doing motor racing photography over in Queensland. Raceway in Lakeside. Nice. Let's do this. Uh, da -da -da -da. So with the motor racing, he's, he's setting up traps as well. Top shelf, Dustin. Just said Ken seems like a jack of all trades. Must and be why he goes none. by Jack M. Hoff. <laughs> jack M. Hoff. <laughs> yep. Jack of all trades, master of none. Uh, where am I? Vision's all fucked up, I can't see shit. There we go. Scrolly, scrolly. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, a bit of feedback, I think, back, I think, back, I think. Back. Yeah, that shit. So this was the worst, first one at night, about 1.30 in the morning. So I was about to go to bed. And then the, where's the fucking full screen? There's a full screen button on this fucking thing. Is it F11? Should be F11. Nope. I hate this fucking deal. Isn't there a full screen button? Eh, sucks. Anyway, so this is the HMS Sydney 2 Memorial. So, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah so it's about 1 o'clock in the morning. There's the speak fuckity fuck fuck fuck. I want the speak fuckity fuck fuck fuck. Ah, uh, probably because you put the thing in front of it. Yeah. I haven't sniffed it yet. I mean, I haven't tasted it yet, JD. Just about to. No, it's not Lightroom, it's Lightroom and Photoshop. So I use Lightroom and Photoshop and, um... Oh, cool. Alright, let's have a look. Ooh, that's different. So initially, when you first swallow, you get that that lovely um, sweetness, and then bang, comes through with bone special. Now it'll work. Bourbon baller. Just said fuck fuck it a fuck fuck. <laughs> fuck fuck who you fuck fuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> so what happened? To our main man. He's gone. There he is. Add him back. Can you hear me? And go back to this one. Turn on coming back on. Oops, on the screen. So today I read that divorce rates in China fall after interplanning a call off period. I thought that was called sleeping with the same woman year after year. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, classic. So this was the one that fucking went off with a bang and fucking blinded the living shit out of me. So I got that shot. And I thought, nice. That was perfectly in the in the right spot and everything. And then it's fucking sitting there watching the lightning and fucking whoosh, big fucking flash and then damn that went off with a rumble. And it was a shame that it was way off to the left, but damn that was fucking bright. <laughs> And this, this was the pretty much a little bit lighter. This was the actual storm cell itself. It was pretty gnarly because most of the lightning from this was all cloud to cloud. It wasn't much cloud to ground. Um, and then this shot here, yeah, this pretty much shows a lot of the cloud to cloud. So there was a lot of the um, um, spaghetti, what I call spaghetti lightning. It just fucking streaks through. And I took a bit of video of it as well. That should actually play. You can see a bit of spaghetti lightning come up in a second. Where is it? There now. Must be spaghetti lightning goes over to there, the, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Spaghetti lightning. No, I haven't seen any ball lighting yet. That's pretty rare. So yeah, that was a good night. <laughs> a little bit of fun. I wish I'd actually taken my video camera because I could have got some really cool video of it. That was just my DSLR. I was like, but do the video that, yeah, it's too dark and dynamic range was crap on it. So it would have been good to have this main camera. <sighs> yeah, it was pretty fucking close. I mean, it wasn't that close because the gap between the strike and the thunder was, was still substantial, but yeah, it was, it was close enough to, to, to fucking blind the shit out of me. It went off with a good rumble. Uh, that was just the 5D Mark IV with a 24-70. Some of those shots I'd wish I'd actually taken the 14 mil, but yeah. 24 to 70, 24 mil, all those shots on the 5D Mark IV. Just 30 second exposures, shifting between F11, F13 at ISO 100 for most of them. I want to get the Fuji GFX 100. Edward Jarvanen. Oh, good day. Good day, Ed. How you doing? Hmm. <laughs> I like this, JD. This peat's not subtle, but I like the sweetness that comes out. In this. I wasn't expecting that. 
I do like that little bit of sweetness. Like lemon sugar. It's very subtle, it's not overpowering, it's like towards the end of the, the palate. Hmm, it's interesting to see that this is yeah. opened up. That, yeah, that grassy note, that fresh grass, lemon sherbet. Campbelltown punk. Hmm, not bad. I like it. It reminds me of like a very watered down version of the the uh, festival that's it's going to bring. I did, Ed. I got it yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Oh my god. <laughs> Simon hasn't got his, yeah. he's not happy. <laughs> I'm fucking yeah, pissed. So I got mine. I'm looking forward for that one to open up a bit. Did you get a. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Simon's a bit sore yeah. about it. Did you get your sample of the, the old fashioned? I was surprised to get that in the, in the box. Um. Yeah, I don't mind it, it's not bad. The ginger is a bit subtle, but it's there, and I, I like the, the finish on it. That um, that woody kind of note. It's like dry. What did I say it was? It was like pine, pine and cedar. I like the the dust from the wood. Does OBS work on iPad? I will not have my laptop in Darwin. Yeah, it does. It does. Works on anything. Now there might be an issue, if you, tr if you jump on and it doesn't work, just let me know. Um, and I'll know when you pop in and I can change the setting and it all out. Other Star Wars boxes waiting collection that says I'm tracking? Oh, I haven't got a notification. Okay, I'll go to the post office tomorrow. Haven't even opened the box yet. Jesus, Ed. <laughs> Open that shit. Yeah, you get a nice little 50 mil of the old fashioned. <laughs> Which is a nice little marketing gimmick. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. That's a good balance. Mm. It's a very, it's very Highland Peak. There's no smoke. Hmm, that's not bad. That's what I was saying earlier, Chris. I was saying, to, like you said before, on the twenty of screen, that little likes the uh, Star Wars old pattern. This is the new one by the looks of it, because it says new. 32%. Oh, shit. I think it's the new one. It says new. So it says old fashioned. Fifty mil. Approximately what? What's this? Oh, 1.3. I thought that said 13. I'm like, get fucked. <laughs> How is that 1.3? That's only a fucking small drink for an old fashioned. So I need to work out how to actually. What's the best way to have this? Yeah. Do you chill it or do you mix it or what? No idea. 
Yeah, I thought it was a nice little bottle. It was a surprise. And it actually came wrapped in, um, what's the name? Paper. Starwood paper. Ooh. One had limited light on the label, I think. Okay. Just got home, just sitting on the bench. Anyone going in for the Ben Rick Moscatel tomorrow? I didn't know anything about the Ben Rick fucking Moscatel tomorrow. You have the barrel aged Manhattan from High West, it's alright. Um, the one I just finished was the Negronis from. Uh, who was that from? That was fucking good. And that came in a cork bottle too. Has it straight on ice? Okay. So you just pour it straight over ice. Don't mix it or anything. I'll have a look on their website. Best way to do it. Because I'll, I'll like it good old fashioned. It'd be interesting to have it with Starwood. I think I've got some orange. Because I like it with the orange. An orange slice in my old fashions. Yeah, I'll be back. Cheech Ardolino. Oh, Cheech is in the house. Good day, Cheech. Just go and drain my lizard. Cheech, did you see how I put my video up after you shouted me? You shouted me out. I put my video up today. So I've done mine. And your link is in the description. See how long the assignment takes, though. Make yourself some ice cubes with cherry in them. I just poured that over ice cream. Isn't it pre-mixed here? Well, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know. I have no idea. And then do you chill it and then pour it over? Or do you stir it with ice? You know. That's what I'm going to find out. No, 50 mil isn't much. Yeah, it's a pre-mix, but do you chill it? Do you stir it? Or do you just pour it over ice? It's not going to be that cold if you pour it over ice. It's going to dilute. That's something I need to do. I need to make some more clear ice balls. I've got one of those clear ice ball makers. It takes all night to do one though. 24 hours. 21 in Glen Scotia is good, but adding water opens it up. Definitely not the 2020 version. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I saw on the reviews. Oh, Jim's on the loop will set over large cube and gives it a stir. That's oh, 50 bucks, that's not too bad. Pour it over the ice with a twisted range with 10 serves in a bottle, scrape the barbecue to steak, sardines or chicken. Oh, that one's an awards too. World's premix awards. Hmm, nice. Okay, so you just put it straight over us. Okay, cool. Well, I can do that. Nice.
Cool. I'll give it a go and then might have to buy a bottle if it's good. It does its three finger pour. Yeah, it's 50 mil. It'll be a good taste anyway. It says 1.3, which I find hard to see for a fucking old fashioned. So I'll pour it over one of my ice balls, my clear ice balls. I'll pour it over that. Chill it. Try it. And then add an uh, orange. Best bottle video? I'll have to watch that later. Yep. Yep, I've done it. I was going to do it yesterday, but didn't get around to it, so I did it today. Hmm. That's definitely different. All right, now a bit more of that peat's coming through. Very subtle hint of smoke. Very subtle. Only for a split second. Poof, you're gone. I think bottles of bands are 46 bucks or something like that. That's not bad. 46 bucks. Mike stole with a poop emoji. <laughs> Good old poop emoji. Hmm, that's not bad. That's as a more blend sketch. Let's let's have the Caribbean rum cast finish. I haven't had that one in ages. And then we'll have Victoria. Let's do a Glen Scotia flight. <laughs> better value than a Jim Beam White Label. Fucking toilet water is better value than a Glen. <laughs> fucking yeah, that. I hate that fucking Jim Beam. That's, that's good. Back to the original shirt. Yep. Yep. Oh, what? Fuck's sake. You went all the way there and they haven't got any fucking vaccine. Useless fucks. Jesus Christ. That's bullshit, man. <laughs> Waiting for Macca's delivery. No, he's waiting for vaccine delivery. Launched <laughs> <laughs> some Teespring store yesterday for patrons only, but it will be live for everyone June 1st. Nice! Fair enough. Yeah, I need to get around to actually make some fucking shirts. <laughs> Full circle Simon. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so let's have some of the... Caravan rum cast finish. I'm doing a glance to measure flight. Fair enough. Well, I had the festival release earlier when I did the This Whiskey on the Bar episode. And then I had the 11 year old, now the 10 year old, now I'm going to have the rum cast, then I'm going to do the 15, and then I'm going to finish with Victoriana. And then I might have some countdown. Um, festival. 
I'll oh, just pour this. <coughs> Irish. Whistler? The Whistler. 12 year old single what? white Irish. No, Kibble. What up, bitches? <laughs> yeah, good to see you. What's up, man? It's Miller time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> Is the shirt back to front and inside out? Yeah, I don't think it is. I think it's just normal front. And it should be inside out. Next shirt change, I want to see your shirt inside out, Simon. Inside out. Fuck me <laughs> yep. Hey, Chris. <laughs> yeah, you can't get the same wear out of a shirt as you can out of a mm, pair of undies. No, because you've got oh, inside out, back to front, and upside. <laughs> yeah. you got all those different things. You've got four days. <laughs> Yeah, having said that, I don't think I've ever actually done it. Nope, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Gibble. Hey, Mike. You can't. <laughs> oh, it's in two. <laughs> you can't. What is it you can't face? The Benrick Moscatel's car strength, single car, 310 bottles, 159 bucks delivery. I'm sure about it, but I reckon I'll, it'll sell out. Fucking no, it's 310 bottles. Did I use that right? You did. That'd be tasty as shit, too. Yeah, it sounds like it. Mm. Muscatel's bloody good. So, where the fuck's this bloody head? Is that a lotto fucking thing, or is it just grab it and we'll just pray that it's there when... when, when <laughs> yeah, and lighten us. Because I think I want one. Not always... Baller, I'm not always rocking the muscle shirt or the singlet. It's just... Mm. After work, I've had a shower. I'm comfortable. Exactly, and it's ninety yeah. percent fucking humidity, so we don't need a fucking anything more than that. Yeah, yeah it's not actually that bad at the moment. I need the fan on, but yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's humid as fuck though. Good day. Mr. Whiskey Dick. Mr. Whiskey Dick. Just said oi cants. <laughs> oi cants. <laughs> hey, Joe. How you going, buddy? Step out of a minute and cue ball pops in. <laughs> nice. <laughs> how was work on well, this fine Wednesday? Oh, it actually wasn't how bad. Many, how many people Fairly did busy. you have to kick out? <laughs> um, <laughs> believe it or not, I'd been at work all of 10 minutes and I had to kick two people out of the pub at 3 o'clock. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 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 Oh, the whiskey list. Oh, I got an email. Oh, I haven't looked at that. I didn't look at that fucking email. Did I get... Oh, I would have got that email. Twice, because I've actually signed up twice. So I've probably got that fucking email. I haven't looked at it. That's on tomorrow morning for members. Okay, I'll have to have a look. <laughs> Might have to have a look at some reviews. Yeah, ben Rick and Moscatel. That sounds pretty fucking good, though, doesn't it? You'd be proud. You'd be proud of me tonight, Cubal. The missus went. Do you want some wine for dinner? And I'm like, yeah. So she went and got some riesling for dinner. Okay, what riesling? Yeah, I asked him uh, the same question. question. <laughs> it was a fruity one. It was a fruity one with a slight bit of. Is it dry or is it sweet? <laughs> it wasn't a dry one. She doesn't like dry stuff. Too. She oh. got a sweet one. It wasn't bad though. It was. Uh, it was all right. As long as it wasn't that fucking Crucian shit. No, no, no. This was, um, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll go through it. It wasn't out yeah, of the Yeah, go on, go on. I'm curious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chris, they had an early start. Yeah, you know, one of them actually said, come on, mate, we're not that bad. And I'm like, yeah, but the problem is, boys, that you walked in the door with a beer in your hand. 
and I can't let you do that. <laughs> no. I'll put it back in the bin. Ah, uh, yeah. It was fucking crucial. Ah, oh, damn it. It was that crucial shit. <laughs> and you actually liked it. I thought it was all right. It was That's a bit too fucking cool. It was a bit fucking sugary as shit. Yeah, it was a bit lacking and a bit a bit fucking too sweet. But yeah, that's what she likes. It 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 it's the one Riesling that genuinely gives Riesling a bad name, in my opinion. Yeah, and and Riesling is the king of the grapes. Yeah, in that it can be beautifully sharp and crisp mm -hmm. and dry, which I like, or it can be. Gloriously succulent and sweet. I mean, some of those um, super sweet German oh, Rieslings. Fuck, yeah. Nice, yeah. It's like drinking. Oh, they're it's so like good. drinking nectar. I years ago, we were fucking German. You know, they're, I mean, yes, they, they're sweet. Oh, they're so good. Yeah. But they're ridiculously fruit sweet. They're not sugary. So. Yeah, I went to a German wine tasting Body and awesome. it was like you had all the samples and you get all the bottles and you got and I had some of those German Rieslings. Fuck, that was good. <laughs> I reckon. Oh, yeah. But, oh, well, such is life. Yeah. I think we stayed on your hangout for at least another hour after you and Adam called it. Yeah, we did. It was good. I didn't even have a fucking look at it, and I just had the glass. <laughs> well, talking about <laughs> Riesling, what do you reckon of the... Um, I've had a Percy Valley Riesling. Okay. Is that... What do you reckon? Whereabouts is that? Yeah, where's that from? Uh, Eden Valley. Eden Valley. Oh, Eden Valley, yeah. They do yep. some really nice Riesling. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah, no, no, you get some really good ones out of there. I mean, it's, um, it's more dry. It's more on the dry side. Yeah. The one winery that's won more awards than anyone else for their Riesling is Peter Lehman. Oh, really? I mean, uh, the the man himself passed away several years ago, um, but he was pretty much the undisputed king of Australian Riesling. Oh, Okay. And yeah, like his, um, oh, I can't remember the exact name of it. There was one of his dry Rieslings. Um, and I think the worst rating that James Halliday ever gave it was like a 96. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, damn. <laughs> no, his Rieslings were phenomenal. Um, generally a little on the drier side, but yeah, just ridiculously good. No, I like, yeah, uh, I'm more on the, yeah, dry side. Uh, I prefer my reason dry. Yep. Mm. Fusey oh. Valley. Yep. Fusey Valley. Fusey Vale. Vale. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Chris just asked, what's on my wine list? He has red <laughs> and white. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I I have a bit of everything in my cupboard. I have reds, I have whites, I have Rieslings, I have sparklings, both red and white. I have sparkling rosés. I was going to say you got a rosé. Um, <laughs> I've got a few sweets. Uh, I, re I, I really, really like um, Vidalos. Yeah. Um, I like them because they've got that nice fruit sweetness, but they can have a good sharpness to them at the same time. Yep. Um, but, you know, <laughs> I've got some absolutely exceptional Shiraz in the cupboard. 
um, some St. Hallets. I've got some really, really good vintage Grand Berge. And I've got, I actually found, tucked away at the back of the cupboard, I've got a Taylor's Yarraman. Ooh, uh, pretty sure it's a Shiraz and it's a 20... I want to say a 2012, but it's basically yeah. it's that particular vintage got like, you know, was named one of the best red wines in Australia at the time. Oh. I bought a case of it when they announced that a couple of years later and yeah, I've still got one left. <laughs> yeah, some of those Eastern well, European moment. reds are phenomenal. So that's a good call, Chris. Hey, Mike, where the fuck was my invite for this ad hoc fucking hangout? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Hungarian red. Nice. Well, yeah, Georgia is considered basically the, or around there is considered the but it's some of the oldest recorded historical uh, wineries and stuff. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, and there's actually one place there. Obviously, it costs you a lot, and you have to have a shower and stuff before you do it, but you can literally hop into a bath of wine of your choice. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually bathe in wine. Ooh. How would Park Cab Sav or Chardonnay? Nice. Yeah, I, I love a nice buttery shardy, Nige. A good call. Yeah, me too. What do you mean you <laughs> called me? You don't even have my fucking number. <laughs> Could have sent me a message on fucking... On the Discord. Or Discord or or on the, uh, yeah, send me a message on the fucking Discord. What about yeah. Cape, yeah. Cape Mantelli? Have you have, have you had Cape any of those Cape some really yeah. nice stuff, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you mean, Jim? You wouldn't think I was a wine connoisseur. Why wouldn't I be? I love whiskey. Why wouldn't I love wine as well? Yeah. It's a good change. It's like, it's like we've got Bogan's Guide to Wine and yeah. Cuball is one of the regular guests and I film and edit that show. So, yeah, we're into our fucking wines as well. And I did actually... Like alcohol. <laughs> I did do a year of um, oniology and viniculture. <laughs> oh, nice. Yep, at Curtin. I worked in a winery. I worked in a winery for a little while just doing the fucking vines. <laughs> I, I don't, um, yeah, about the only thing I, I don't really sort of consider myself to be any kind of appreciator of is beer in general. I mean, I, I drink what I like, and I'll drink just about anything when it comes to beer. I'm not big on these yeah. fruity pale ales, but I like a a nice, rich dark ale at times. And yeah. But yeah, beer I tend to go for what's good value at the time. So I bought yep. this. Yep. Okay, the Americans going to freak out over this, but I bought this uh, case of Miller that I'm plowing through at the moment uh, when it was on special last time at forty nine dollars a case. So that gives you an indication of yeah, how if you haven't out. realized that how hard we get shafted in Australia. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't mind a good cognac or brandy at, at, at times. Yep, I like a good cognac or brandy. Actually, you'll appreciate First this, Ken. Time. And I mean, obviously, I do not think I'm actually in the running at all, but I entered a competition last week to win a cognac barrel Woodford's Reserve. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Uh, it's in a... I can't remember exactly what what brand it is sort of thing, but it's in a, a, a proper crystal bottle and everything. It's The retail value on it is apparently $3,000. Shit. Dang. 
Now that's a fucking episode. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> yeah. I, How are you, Jim? Look on YouTube and second receipt. To wine. Yeah, I've had a second receipt to enter it sitting in my wallet, but I kept forgetting about it and I missed the cutoff on it. <laughs> so I could have got two entries in. But I got one. Mike, you need to rectify that situation. Get yourself some fucking good content. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's that's not a bad concept, JD. Adding a, a little wine on a very average whiskey um, could actually really kick it up a notch. You wouldn't need that. Well, I've, heard from, I've heard from people in Scotland that's something they do. If they've got a shitty fucking whiskey that tastes like crap, they usually add a liqueur. So they'll they'll grab a glava or something like that and add a bit of that to it and bang, off you go. Yeah. Because that, that sweetness does something. I can imagine a good wine would, would do the same kind of thing. Yep. Um, another one you should what check out, Ed, is called Molly Duca. Yep, Molly Duca for the win. They're fucking delicious. Today. Mike Hunt. <laughs> G'day, Mike. It's better than having yak on your cone. <laughs> yeah. I'll just put it in the chat so you can see how to actually spell it. Molly Duker is actually so Australian slang Hennessy. for a left-handed person. Good day. Yep. Hennessy is shit. DJ Q-Ball. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I've been here for half an hour and now it says good day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> we didn't go into the chat. That's the No, nah, true. Maybe I should start doing that. I think I've got some actually i still have because i'm lazy so this is actually the last wine that i had it's a uh eden valley riesling from a winery called oh. avon bray that way uh, there we go, Eden Valley. Yep. Have on Bray. Yep. Yeah, they do some really, really mm -hmm. nice riesling. Yep. And Mike's just said Mike Hunt can play sweet music. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one I had recently is this one. Oh, that's not there. Yeah, that's midnight. That that's good. Midnight that's promise. The midnight that's promise. Uh, Vidello. No, Semion. Sorry. Twenty nineteen Hunter Valley Semion. That was really really nice. So thanks for that one, Sampy. That's one we did a review yeah. on Bogle's Guide to Wine as as well. So you can check that out. Yeah, Ed the Molly Duca is renowned for jacking their ABVs. So like your. Average Shiraz in Australia is, you'd say, probably around 13, 13.5%. <laughs> Molly Duca tend to do theirs at about 15 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty damn awesome. Well, this is 15 for this Shiraz. Pig's peak. Yeah. But... Yeah, lately I've been buying, I haven't been buying much of your standard varietals. I've been buying a lot of um, Tempranillo and Sangiovese and Montepulciano and stuff like that. I like the different stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of bogan. I'm actually quite What's tempted it? to crack a wine now. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking like having a fucking wine myself. But by the same token, I, I I do have to be at work at seven thirty. Yeah. <laughs> Being a Thursday and everything. <laughs> oh yeah, if you if you uh, if any of you are partial to a Pinot Noir, mm -hmm. have a look for a uh, anything from Tasmania. You pretty much can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, three hours sleep. Right. Good luck with that, Chris. Night, Chris. Cheers, mate. Sleep well. Mm. Cheers. Nom, 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 nom. What are you having now? <laughs> Glen Scotia Rumcast, Caribbean Rumcast fish. Oh, no. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I think I might just what? have another beer. I should really go to the recycling place. I've got about fucking six empty cartons <laughs> full of fucking stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ed, there's a, a Barossa winery called Kim Bolton. Yeah. They, they grow, super, grow really nice uh, Montepulciano. But you still can't beat the uh, Debrutza stuff. Proper Italian stuff. Having said that, you can you, your entry level on a Italian Monty, uh, you can get them from BWS and Dan's for around twelve bucks. I can't be asked going to see if I've actually got a bottle of it left. Probably got an empty bottle over there in a box somewhere. <laughs> Fucking want some wine now, god damn it. Yeah, see my biggest issue with doing that is the fact that I don't believe in leftover wine. No, me neither. So if I open a bottle I'm gonna fucking drink it. Yeah, I'm the same. Exactly. <laughs> I'm exactly the same. Yep. And yeah, there's there's every chance if I do that that I'm not gonna make it work on time. <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm going to get another beer. Maybe two. Good choice. Just in the the wine valleys in Northern California, I tend to drink Samana Valley or Russian River wines. Good reds. Nice. Yeah, yeah, just drink Buzz from Prisoner. <laughs> yeah, everyone says that that's, that's a yeah, little wine. No, Russian River, yep. They got. There was two left in the six pack and I couldn't leave one by itself. No, that's right. It's got to have friends. Well, that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do like a late yeah. harvest Riesling as well. I just like Riesling. <laughs> yeah. Now, I've had... I've tried several of the... the super sweet german rieslings over mm. the years um and even having i've had a couple of uh ice Ooh. wines so they they literally the reason they call them mm. ice wines is they yep. literally pick them when the grapes are frozen Fiddick, uh finished an ice wine yeah yeah they're good Good. Yeah, Alcumi did some nice stuff. Oh, yeah, they're good stuff. Yep. Wine classy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you, Bo, do you like your Rieslings dry or sweet? Depends on the mood. Mm, fair enough. Yep. I, I do. I do find I've got to be in the right frame of mind to enjoy a sweeter wine. Um. But having said that, I, I love, I, and it's the same with my whiskey. I love anything that's got a bit of depth to it and a bit of character. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I'll, I'll still drink a, a 10, $15 SSB or whatever. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of straight Sav Blancs. I like my SSBs. I like my, I love a straight Semion. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So, yeah, Videlo is a nice Shannon, uh, uh, even a, a Pinot Gris or Grigio. They can be really, really nice. And I love a dry oh, yeah. sparkling. Mm -hmm. 
Because we're not allowed to call it champagne. <laughs> yeah. Fucking French bricks. <laughs> yep, it sure is nice. Yeah, and if you look at that guy who was an hour late for work, I'd say he definitely mm -hmm. tied one on the night before. Al Coomey's just down the road. Fucking hell, you lucky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll be my... Beautiful. Mount Barker does some pretty good bloody wines. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they've got the cool climate, cool climate stuff well, yeah. in Mount Barker. Well, that, that's the winery I worked mm -hmm. at was in Mount Barker. Yeah. Oh, really? Shit. I mean, it is a it is a three and a half four hour drive for us, but the Swan Valley's only just down the road. Sorry. Yeah, but the problem with Swan Valley is a lot of them they're just um, grabbing Margaret River wines and packing. Um, selling it as their own. Yeah, but that that's mm, that's exactly, a loophole yeah. as such. If you so for argument's sake, even a winery in Western Australia, if they source their grapes from the Barossa, they can mm -hmm. actually call it a Barossa Red or what, whatever they can call it that because. I won't say who exactly, but a uh, a certain powerhouse in the Australian retail liquor industry <laughs> got in the trouble a few years back for saying it was a Margaret River Red when they weren't actually sourcing the grapes from Margaret River. Cheers, Joe. So, Have a good one, but, mate. Um, yeah, cheers, cheers, Joe. Have a good night. I've been... Fortunate enough being in the industry as long as I have to have had a, a few, uh, shall we say, oh, backdoor so nice. tours of wineries. <laughs> like you go in with a with a with a full tour group, and then it sort of gets to a point where it's like, okay, everyone else is going this way, you're coming this way. <laughs> so you know, sampling premium vintages straight from the barrel and things of that nature, which has been pretty awesome. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. But all in all, life is good in that respect. Fucking like A. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's that's where, in all honesty, I, I have to be very thankful to Ken for starting all of this because there are a lot of whiskies that I've gotten to try over the last 12 months that are outside of my budget and if they weren't sitting on the shelf in a bar, I wouldn't be able to try them. So I'm I'm constantly appreciative of that. <laughs> and vice versa. Well, you've got some, what, what some nice... And, and obviously, you know, the, the people that send us stuff as well. So, you know, it's just... It's ridiculously awesome. I, I love this fucking oh, yeah, whiskey community yeah. that we have. So. Yep. Cheers yep. to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> oh, yeah, they definitely let you try some good stuff oh, when you're you. Actually, there was, um, there was one wine rep that I had uh, a few years ago when I was working for a, um, at a Bottolo branded store. And, um, yeah, he would come in and, and he'd give us tastings and stuff. And then he'd be like, oh, yeah, and I brought this one for you. Um, and it, he knew it was damn well it was something that we wouldn't raise in the store, but he just wanted me to try it. <clears throat> and it was, now that I think about it, the other one with that, I actually got to have a... I'm trying to think what it was. That... that was that Project 21 yeah, or whatever uh, it was that yeah, Glenn Fiddick did? Exactly, yeah. Project X. Yep. Yeah, I actually... Uh, the Project X, yeah. The, the sample of that that I got to have, like it was a handwritten label on the bottle. It was a pre-production <laughs> sample as such. <laughs> now, I've been, yeah, I've been very, very fortunate over the years and I constantly appreciate it. Springview. We haven't heard of that. Springview. 
It rings a bell, but I I, I, I can't put yeah. my finger on it. But it also, like, for me, it, it's been a massive help that um, my mentor in the early days of my retail career, when I was actually working in a, a music and hi-fi store, um, is a, a massive wine nut. And his the spare room in his house, which is about so your typical three by three meter bedroom sort of thing. It's just full of shelving. It's the windows are blacked out. It's sealed. <laughs> it's temperature controlled, and it's fucking full of wine. I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> so I've been really, really <laughs> spoiled. <laughs> oh, there he's he's constantly pulling stuff out that I've never fucking heard of. Um, and not only that, even like wineries that I know and stuff, he's pulling stuff out at times that he's had to sit in there for 10 years. Oh, small program wine. And it's just maturing oh, ever so wonderfully, and it's just ridiculous. Well, there we go. When we go down to Albany, Cuba, we'll have to go to the Springview and Prograps. <laughs> oh, if, yeah, we, if have we have to. to. You, know, you know we're going to have to convince someone to come with us as a driver, don't you? Yeah. Or, or we just bite the bullet and whatever yeah. what place we're going to, we buy the bullet. Someone has a designated driver yeah, and we take a few bottles of whatever it is back to that designated driver so when they get back to where we're staying. <laughs> and then we yeah, yeah. do the draw for the next person that's going to be the yeah. designated fucking driver. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of like, you know, if, if I know, if I could think of someone that lives down that way that actually doesn't drink much, that I could conv convince them to drive us around for a few days. <laughs> I know a few people. But um, most of my friends are drinkers. Yeah. <laughs> this is, where's the fucking love button? Oh, it was an awesome little episode, mate, and you pulled out some absolutely fucking stunning. Oh, I didn't know ever. Yeah, there's no love button. That's that's Instagram. You might be able to get Fred into driving. It's true. <laughs> true. Yeah, we need to sort that out. <laughs> need to make that happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Oh, we will get there eventually. <laughs> yeah, eventually. We'll, we'll make it happen. Eventually, yeah. Yeah, I know, Ed. I know. Good morning. Get down there. Yeah, there Good morning. Yeah. I know, I know. It's like six in the evening. <laughs> Be, oh, uh, good and hey, yeah, <laughs> Good and yeah. How yeah. is everyone doing, by the way? There is a uh, driver. He'll drive yeah. us. Nice, nice. I'm enjoying my Glen Scotia flight. Nice. Yeah. I'm out by a, a river, so. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Gonna have some after work. I brought myself a Kill Karen Oh, really? Which yeah. one? Oh, the new one? The old one. The first share cask. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So I just want to drop in and say a uh, great live stream you guys had for 24 hours. Thank yeah. you. Good job. Well, that's all Good job. Ken. That's all Ken. Yeah. Simon, too, I mean, like eight shirts. I mean, that's a record. Right? So <laughs> just want to drop in and say hi and a great job on that. And take care, okay? All right. Cheers, mate. Yeah, cheers. Bye. Yeah, cheers. Bye. Bye. Thanks, mate. Yeah, Ed just had a good plan with hire advice. Yeah, exactly. Need to take my partner. She doesn't have 
doesn't drink but loves to drive. Well, there you go. That that sounds like a winner. Loves to drive, doesn't drink, <laughs> and has a license for a bus. There we go. There we it's go. It's a Scotch band under fucking yeah. drunk tour. <laughs> All right. So as we go through Perth, we've got to pick up Dave. Yep. And Ed. And Simon. And Simon. I'm 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 about yeah yeah definitely yeah yeah. And then we'll go, well then we, yeah, we're going to go Margaret, Margaret River. This is going to be, it'll be interesting to coordinate because yeah. we basically need to take a week. Oh, off. yeah. At least, for sure. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, I mean, you know, we've, we've got to go to Lime, Lime Burners, Tiger Snake, Ginversity. Yep, yep, yep. And then all the wineries. Um, Yep. Well, a few wineries. Yep. I'll see what I can sort. Kate, Mantelli. Alcumi. Yep, Alcumi. Whip yep. Snapper. Oh, we got the Whip Snapper, snapper as well. Yep. And we got to, we got to go and see old mate at um, Triple H as yeah, well. Yeah, we got to go see him. Yep. yep. Have some gin. Fucking oath. Fuck yeah. That's going to be an epic trip. <laughs> and I'm going to film all that shit. Yeah. And we'll see if we actually uh, I can get a contact for Goody Twos. Actually, we'll just get Chad in yeah. on it. Yeah, that's it. So what Chad's doing. We'll get Chad in on it. Because, yeah, he'll be able to get us into a few places. He can sort us out. I can get the Offerman Guinness cast for 120 bucks. Mm-hmm. Then you need to buy them all and send them over to us. We'll have three. <laughs> Two for Ken, one for me. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Yeah, I want to. You got the Ginversity barrel age for 36. What? You wanker. <laughs> that retails for about fucking 55, 60 bucks. Ed, Ed's the fucking man. He. he... Yeah, and they're only little bottles, too. Crazy deals. Shit, Ed, you should just come up here for a weekend, mate. We'll crank up the fire in the front yard. Uh, fuck yeah. If it's wet and miserable, we'll crank it up in the carport. Yep. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time we've done that. And we'll live stream the shit out yep. of it. Wine and whiskey. And I'll just sleep on your porch, Ken. <laughs> yeah, we can make that up. I've got a tent. <laughs> Pitch a tent in the No, I'll just chuck me swag in your carport. True. Sleep next to the fire. <laughs> Whoa. Who says there's going to be sleeping? We'll have to make sure we got more wood next time, though. Who says we're going to be sleeping? Last time we did that, we called it because we were running out of fucking wood. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll just get a trailer load this year. That, that, that could be a pretty good idea. Get some fucking good shit out or something. Nah, just get some fucking jarrow. Even get a load of jarrow, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> There's always fucking... There's always people doing trailer loads of wood. Yeah, a good trailer load of jar would be the way to go. Mm-hmm. Or just anything that's dry and ready to rock. Oh, I like jar because it smells good and it crackles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, waddle's good for that too. Chuck a bit of waddle in there. We'll just mix it up. We'll pair. We'll pair the wood fire with the uh, whiskies. Oh, 
So mark your calendar. This weekend coming is my weekend off. Not saying we should do it this weekend, but basically I get every second weekend off. That's the easiest way to work it out. <laughs> okay, so that's barbecue nights at the RSL you got off. Ah, bugger. Doesn't that? No, no, I still got to work the Friday yeah, night. Yeah, I still got to be at the RSL Friday night, but that finishes well, I have that. Saturday, Sunday off. I've got daddy duty this weekend. That's fair enough. Could pull the fence down and burn that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, that reminds me of a, oh, it was probably about, I don't know, maybe eight years ago. We were drinking rather heavily and we were running low on firewood and there was this busted ass wooden futon that we kept on the on the back veranda for just, you know, when we ran out of chairs, it was somewhere that people could sit. And we, we somehow convinced my housemate that owned it that it was it was dead. It was beyond use. And within about 10 seconds of her saying, yeah, okay, it was in the middle of the backyard and the axe was out. <laughs> we smashed the shit out of it and threw it in the fire. Nice. Kept the mattress, yeah, yeah. obviously. But, yeah, just busted this thing up and fed the fire for the next few hours. Yeah, I'm hanging out and actually. And of course, if anyone left a cigarette lighter on the table unattended, that ended up in the fire. <laughs> I'm hanging out for when it gets you gets cold. We're gonna have some fucking fires. Oh, I don't know. It's cool mm. enough late at night now. No, fucking sixteen degrees and ninety percent humidity. That ain't cold. Nah, but it. Still have <laughs> well, I got some tasty fucking cigars there to fucking. Oh yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'll keep an eye on buy and sell for anyone that's fucking doing trailer loads of yeah, with Jarrah. Anything really? Jarrah. On Jarrah. Either that, or in the next few weeks, we'll fucking. I'll see if I can borrow a fucking chainsaw and or and a fucking. And I'll attack these fucking trees that are hanging over my fence. Because <laughs> they're not big fat branches or anything; they're only like probably about yeah. this size, which is perfect for that little fucking uh, brazier that yep, you yep. have. Because if we cut them now and stack it all in your, like, chop it into small pieces and stack it in your carport, it's got plenty of time to dry out. True. So. We can make it work. I just like fire. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what do you think I've got fire in the background? It's like that fucking clip of Stewie in one of the latest episodes of Family Guy. <laughs> he get, hops off the bus, his fucking hair just goes, <laughs> and he goes, it's a little bit humid. Humid. <laughs> humid. <laughs> I told her if it, if, if yeah, because it's supposed to be actually it's supposed to be her fucking day off when it's my birthday. And I told her, I said, I don't care if I have to work on my birthday, but you're not allowed to fucking tell everyone. <laughs> ah. And she's like, nah, you're not fucking working. And you're coming in and you're drinking. And it's like, oh, okay, so you're going to tell everyone that it's my birthday while I'm in the pub. He's like, yep, I'm like, beauty, I won't have to pay for fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> You'd just be sitting there, 
Service me, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's Victoriana time. Hey! Pulling out the big gun. I didn't know it's in the fucking Founders Reserve Blaine Levitt fucking bottle. <laughs> But it's certainly not fucking Glen Livet. Oh, I've still got that Tara that we need to fucking crack at some point too. We got shitloads of stuff we need to crack. Well, do episodes on. Facebook at the moment too, and congrats on the fucking epic shots you got the other night, mate. Cheers. Yeah, that was Tuesday morning. I was about to go to bed at one o'clock in the morning, and the next minute, flash, flash, rumble, rumble, and I was like, "Well, I ain't going to bed. <laughs> Stayed up all the fucking night." Yeah. yeah. I've actually uh, saved a couple of those. I think it could make an appearance as a fucking cover pick on my page. Ah, huh, nice. If you have no objections. No objections at all. Go for it. Oh, it's got your watermark on there anyway, so. Yeah. Well that one of the, the ball with the with the with the branch lightning overhead. Yeah. That's just fucking phenomenal. That was a brilliant twenty four hour show, Ken, with some yep. hilarious bits of call. Cool. Was doing things around the house. Who was the Canadian guy? That was Alex. The slightly drunk Mr. Alex. <laughs> so, Ed, I'm going to do a. Um, yeah. We we're talking about it early on the stream. I'm going to do a super cut. So, I'll probably get all the best bits out of the stream. All the bottle kills, some shirt changes, the toasts, all, all the funny bits. And we'll do it into a, like a 20 minute super cut. Good call. I just need to download it all and do all the editing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just going to go drag my lizard. What was that? That's the fun part. Yeah. One sec. I have to restart my PC. Yep. So he's here the drain and he's losing the way he's doing a power blackout. Yeah, that was fucking annoying what bloody OBS Ninja was doing earlier. It just wouldn't fucking work. Simon drains his lizard with the camera off. Yep. <laughs> like he's going black out. <laughs> well, it's only just. I only just got midnight. Ish. <laughs> Sounds great for loads of work. Yeah, it's not too much work. Well, once I've got it all downloaded and I can just get it on the timeline and and cut bits out. I mean, there's a shitload of 
stuff that needs cutting out. So yeah. once I once I find the good sections, and I can just cut them and pulling them into another <coughs> another timeline. It'll take it'll yeah. take a little while to get it happen, but yeah, it's not too much work. It's just a bit of time. It'll be fun. Needs to be done. Mr. Minja. What's happened? Minger. What's Minger. happened? Minger. <laughs> Minger is a Minger. British word for ugly. It is. Yeah, fucking Minger. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah, she's Minging. Yeah, she's Here Minging. in Australia, we just call them fugly. <laughs> yes. Yep, fugly yes. fucking Mings. My dog is staring at me. My wife just went for a walk, and she knows she didn't get to go. Oh, no. She watches her out the back door, like, walk around the corner. Yeah. She's like, that's not good enough. I want to go. She can't go uh, for another... She can't go for another four days. Oh. She's not supposed to go on long walks yet. But she's all good now? She seems to be doing pretty well. We watch her like a hawk when she's out in the rocks, though. Yeah, no fucking rock mungin, that's for sure. She's a no good girl, rock, But uh, we are, like, starting all over again on potty training for some reason. Ah, uh, so that little, little incident has caused her to go backwards again. Yeah, and I I don't know if like because like she poops and I don't know if it's part of like the surgery on her colon to pull out the rocks because you see like a trail of poop instead of like a pile. So I'm wondering yeah. if maybe yeah. she can't tell still. You know, it's still she's still healing. So yeah, yeah, and it probably fucking hurts as well. Yeah. So but so Ed, very rarely do I get a dud coil. Very rarely. Oh, so how are you guys doing? Yeah, we, uh, it was kind of a spare of the moment thing last night, Ken, so we weren't trying to omit you, buddy. That's right, I just, I just felt left out, you know? <laughs> yeah, I feel like, I mean, I just feel really offended, but whatever. Yeah, eh. You know, exactly. I'm used to it, <laughs> whatever, you guys suck. <laughs> yeah, leave me in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was basically they sent a text message to like some group text message Adam sent it to. All of a sudden everybody was on. Oh, nah, see, I but I will that. make sure you are part of it. I'm the, the specialist. Yeah, we did have uh, Mash and Drum on with us a little bit last night. He came on. Oh, so that would have been fun. And we got HBR in the shower. Oh, it's the office. Yeah, I really missed that. God damn it. Got yeah, we sent him a link. Fucking... I, I sent him a link and I was like, dude, are you still are you gonna plan on coming? He goes, Is this live or just like, you know, offline hangout? And I was like, it's just offline. And all of a sudden he goes, Okay, because I'm in the shower, and all of a sudden he pops up and he's like standing in the shower. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> But he was only in for like a minute, though. He wasn't in for very long. Yeah, yeah. Man, it's like so quiet at work. It's kind of eerie. I don't like it. Yeah, it's like... I want to move to Australia so I can find a new job. You're welcome. I heard there's tons of jobs in Australia. No? I haven't. I haven't looked at the, Depends on the what job you markets. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> yeah, with it, with all the lockdowns, I'm sure it's, you know. Like the U.S. is still struggling. I see. We're fine. We're, we're in West Australia. We, we haven't been locked down for, well, we never oh, actually really? went into a full lockdown. Not really, no. Yeah, so it was interesting. Yeah. Where we are. Oops. She sees the wife out walking oh. still. The, yeah, she's a hound dog for sure. The, uh, oh my God. The, uh, it was weird. So today was the first day I went into a store without a mask on in like, you know, a year. And it's really weird. 
You know, now it's weird oh, yeah. to not put a mask on. Because <laughs> you see all the people and you're like, fuck, why aren't you, where's your fucking mask? And you have to think, wait a minute, no, no, I don't know. Yeah, like, yes, so they lifted, you know, they lifted the mask yeah, mandates in New York also. Did you see this, New York City today? I saw that, yeah. And so yeah. yesterday I went out and grabbed lunch for the wife and I, and I'm in the restaurant, you know, standing in line ordering, and I've got my mask on, and, like, police officers come in, no mask. You know, it's like, because the county I live in lifted all mask mandates. And so people love it. As long as it, they're lifted, as long as you're vaccinated. Yeah, yeah. Which there's no way to. So when you see tell. someone with a mask, you know they're not vaccinated. You're like, yes. yeah, and and like they can't ask <laughs> you for the for your card to see if you really are vaccinated, and so you know you don't know if they're vaccinated or not. But uh, yeah, so I had my mask on. Like two thirds of the restaurant didn't have a mask on, and so I went into the hardware store today and what wasn't wearing a mask, and I was just like, this feels weird. But it is kind of nice getting back to normal. Yep. The only time I've worn a mask in the last 12 months was for a Halloween. Concert. You guys don't have mask <laughs> mandates down there? Where I wore a... Never did. Wow. Not where we are, no. Yeah, so in the, like, Boulder County, I don't know if you've ever heard of Boulder, Colorado. It's, like, super-duper liberal yeah. you know, part of Colorado. It's, like... Yep. Like to put it in perspective, Washington D.C. had like ninety-three percent of Washington D.C. voted for uh, Biden. In Boulder, it was like ninety-seven percent voted for Biden. Like that's how, you know, it's just very Democrat. You had to wear a mask like in a park outside. So, yeah, yeah they're they're pretty strict. Yeah. No, we never had any mask requirement here in, in Western Australia. There was only a little bit of the scare, the last little lockdown when there was a scare. Um, anyone traveling from, from the capital Perth up to here had to wear masks. So Hold on one second. Bit. I'm going to shut my dog up. She's irritating the shit out of me. <laughs> Yeah, Simon's definitely done a blackout maneuver. She does not like to be left out of shit. I don't want to miss out on shit. But she's super sweet, so I, I live with it. Oop, did I lose you? What happened? Oh, there we go. Nah, where are you? All of a sudden, my yeah, whiskey lovers are welcome. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a power blackout. <laughs> I agree. Simon's definitely pulled the Simon maneuver. Did Simon bail? He's he's in the background with his camera off. He's he's pulled a he's Looks pulled like a power blackout. He's done the Simon maneuver. Oh, he's snoozing. He's gonna his visit. Yeah. He'll be back in 15 when, minutes. When he said he was going to drain his lizard, I'm like, nah, you're passing out there. <laughs> but he never gives up. He, ne he never admits it. He's only done it once. He's like, oh, I'm knackered. I'm going. And it's like, just, just fucking own it. It's like, I'm fucked. I'm going. Bye. He didn't look that knackered so until like the last yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. He got quieter and quieter and then bang, he was done. I don't know how he can concentrate so much. Like he's always like very focused on the stream when he's on. Yep. He cracks me up. Yeah, he's. And then he moves less and less and says less and less. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, his brain's shutting down. <laughs> and then you see he didn't change his shirt one time. And then. <laughs> yeah. Then he starts doing this with his head. <laughs> And then once he once he starts doing this, then you know he's fucked. Yeah, <laughs> I got to balance. Yep, got to hold that fucking head up. Yeah, we went to uh, we were in Mexico one time, and I they brought me this drink that they lit on fire called a la cucaracha. When we were on, it was our honeymoon. 
And so it was like, I don't know what it was, but they're like, you got to slam it. And it was one of the only things I had that night and I got smashed. And the wife was pissed. So I slept on the, you know, in the little, the resort condo room we were in. I had to sleep on the couch because she was mad at me. I had to throw a leg off just to make the whole, you know, make Cancun stop spinning. Oh, he's a lot. Hey, Simon's back. Oh, and he's changed his shit. Man, that was a, <laughs> a lot. That was a hey, long Jake. time, Simon. You must have had to chase the lizard down first. Oh, I reckon. <laughs> Not to yeah, find it. Chase it down, kill it, cook it, eat it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Cheech. No, good day, hey, Cheech. Well, it's either that or he smacked it around until it's got out. Of Now it's a party. Yeah. Eating it always? Yeah. Jesus is working. He's typing away. I never stop. Yeah. Uh, hey, Mike Stahl, did you look up that uh, Uber Man <laughs> really. schedule? Did I what? I put a, uh, something for you to look up about how I don't oh, sleep yeah, and yeah. I still get stuff done. Uberman. I, I haven't Uber. read it yet, but yeah. Did, was it also a link, or did you just tell me what to Google? No, it's not a link. Just Google it. Oh, okay. Just Google it, Mike. Yep. Uber. Uberman. Uber. Dude, my dog is Sleep. going nuts. So that was fucking fun on Zoom. Zoom. When the internet decided to fucking shit itself completely on North America. Could you believe that? Mm-hmm. Uberman sleep. That was insane. You know that was last night was my fourth time modding in their uh, in their chat, and it, it seems like it went a little better last night. You know, like I didn't have to yeah, time out yeah. too many people. <laughs> no, because in general that it's a shit show. Crowd, but yeah. yeah, yeah, it was going it was, really well. It was fucking fun. I it was just, good when it went over to Twitch. It was actually all right. I I, I stayed up for most of the Twitch. After watching yeah. you and Amy Bohm and DC. You know, do these mod stuffs, you know, and Trev, like that night, Trev was on freaking mm-hmm. HBR stream for like five hours, you know, recording stuff. He's finally like, look, I want to start drinking. I can't keep doing that. I, I try yeah. to make sure everybody knows I cannot be trusted. <laughs> drinking and modding it, is a it is fine a balance. Yeah, it's a fine balance. It is a job. Sure. <laughs> yeah, like I got a fucking job. I want to play around in chat. Yeah. It's all about balance. Balance point. Balance yeah. drinking, balance modding, balance ball busting. <laughs> okay, the Uberman sleep schedule. So I did my video, Cheech. You shouted me out. I've done my video. I shouted you out? Why did I do that? <laughs> he already I'm forgot. Long. Oh boy, stream. <laughs> You've forgotten <laughs> about your bo- the best bottle. Yeah. Yep. And it's he put a nice little twitch to... or a little twist to it for those of you that haven't looked at it yet. Yeah. And no, we got called out by the live stream to watch it. So. Oh yeah, that's why I told him I gotta mute him so I can go watch it. Yeah, I'll watch it later. After. You know, the Aussies go to bed. Yep. <laughs> I know, it was sort of amusing when yeah. Sean was like, we're down to 100. And we're like, fuck, if I had 100, I'd be fucking... <laughs> yeah, they're like, it's not worth it. Yeah, it's like, oh, this is shit. This is crap. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't got 100. <laughs> From 700. I suppose that is a bit of a drop. Yeah, we hit 50 once. Yeah, I think. Oh, I don't know how many I've had maximum. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, it is kind of but funny. Oh, there said, you go. Oh, there, oh, 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 there it is. Oh, nice. Whiskey on the floor. Nice. Did you do that on YouTube's uh, oh, back end thing, or did you do it with Ludwig? I did it myself. Oh, you did it yourself? Okay. Yeah. 
Are you going to make your own t-shirts? Yeah, they're already happening. Oh, okay. I'm doing Teespring for, for the people that are like in Europe and Australia, wherever it's easier for them to get yeah. the merchandise that way. But I I have some being printed locally. I used to run a t-shirt printing company. Oh, okay. So. <clears throat> yeah, so, you know, it was interesting, yeah, because whatever YouTube has is their, like, little back-end merch place where yeah. you can put your logo on it and then like that's what marty does but they're like 20 bucks to him so like he only he doesn't really make anything on it <clears throat> and so we did it through you know chris luddig big league bourbons you right. know company and the only downside to that is you kind of kind of guess at sizes mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. like how many mediums how many larges how many extra larges and you got to yeah. order we had to order 36 minimum to start, yep. but you know, the, the average price is like, you know, for us to have a made is like, you know, 10 bucks when you consider the different sizes kind of cost different amounts. Right. Yeah. But you know, we're going to have leftover, you know, and like, like we might sell out a XL or two XL and still have some mediums left. Right. And it's like, right. So, you, you know, you have to hold inventory. So you charge a little bit more for the shirts and try to make a little bit just to cover the gap of what you don't sell. So, Yeah. Yeah, yeah 36 is a pretty yeah, low probably, minimum, though. Yeah, it is. No, I mean, the, he was doing 48. us a favor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Yeah, but no, like I'm not complaining. Yeah, he's... Long, long. He, yeah. yeah, he, like, he did us an a actual favor. And, breakdown and percentage how sizes usually work i mean I, i'm sure you're new to the t-shirt game i am like I, yeah. said, I used to i used to run a print shop so there's like a, a formula i don't have it with me but you know there's a formula to figure out how many sizes you need in our community uh xl is definitely the most popular size but uh mm -hmm. so is 2xl and 3xl <laughs> and if yeah. you jason do you see 5xl yeah that's right <laughs> 5xlt for jason Busey. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, and we still have to see if he was able, if Ludwig was able to get that. <laughs> Can you imagine if you have a five XLT, but it's the same size logo? Yeah, it's hard oh, to no. scale that up without making a new screen or anything just for the <laughs> larger yeah. people. Yeah. So it's like he's gonna have like this little <laughs> looks like a pool ball on his shirt, and everybody else it like covers <laughs> their whole chest. <laughs> Checks Lucy got two XL. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So so far we've seen there's a lot you, of requests Jim. for two XL and three XL. Yeah. Believe it or and not, three XL. Yeah. So my breakdown of forty eight shirts, I ordered uh, four small, <laughs> four, yeah. mostly for ladies, uh, eight medium, <laughs> twelve large, eighteen extra large. Three two XL and three three XL. That's as far as I've gone so far. Oh, that's that's forty eight shirts. Yeah, and my cost on each shirt, uh, other than the double XL and the triple XL, my cost on those shirts are seven dollars and twenty five cents a piece. Yeah, so that's uh, what the medium large and extra large were, and then it was like eleven yeah. bucks for the two X and up. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm only two dollars more each. Oh yeah. The, for the double X and triple X, which is still, you know, around 10 bucks. And it's like the pre shrunk, like all that shirts, you know, we upgraded the shirts cause last thing you want is selling somebody a two XL shirt. And next thing you know, after two washes, like their belly's showing, you know, Yeah. Uh, well don't get a hundred percent cotton, do a blend. And yeah. And we shirt. did, we did it. So it was pre shrunk. So it was a little bit yeah. better quality than the, he's like, you can do the cheap ones and you save like a dollar a shirt, but they're going to shrink. They're going to shrink and then you won't be happy. Yeah. So, but we'll see. I mean, it'll be fun. That's why you always buy the size of up. Yeah. The other thing that's nice about doing it on the YouTube thing is you don't have to deal with any of the shipping and packaging and you know, all that you can, and you can have like a variety of merch. Yeah. So like when Marty did his, he's got sweatpants. You can put, he's can put whiskey nose on sweatpants, t-shirts, hoodies, you know, he can have like a wide variety of merch and they, you know, they make them as they're ordered instead of, you know, uh, having to pre-order a batch like we did. But yeah, I wanted to give Ludwig the business too. Yeah, I wanted to do that too. Yeah. But the shipping of the of the shirts to me would, would just kill me. But sending a big box of shirts is not cheap. Yeah. 
I look at most of uh, the shirts that I ordered here locally um, as giveaways. I'm gonna, you know, just pack them in with other other things when I hand deliver. Yeah, or do like uh, party giveaways. Yeah, part like of your that. Patreon giveaway or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh. Well, hey, thanks for becoming a Patreon, uh, Mike. I appreciate that. I thought I already was. Like, I'll be honest. No, no, but thanks. I appreciate it. I just actually yesterday I just done a banner to add to my my video streams, thanking all my patrons, and I was I all excited because I I finally got it sorted and spaced out right. And then this morning I woke up and I had two new patrons, so I had to redo the whole piece of. Damn, art. it's all right. I'll show it. To you. <laughs> and it was it, it made me chuckle because uh, you know, uh, Jason Mash and Drum came on last night just to hang with us for a little bit, and Marty's like, "Yeah, I'm a Patreon. Are you my pat? Are you one of my Patreons?" Jason. Oh, oh yeah, there, you go. there we go. Yep. There you go. Look how big whiskey shit's name is, and how little mine is. Thanks a lot, Cheech. Uh, it's just spacing. <laughs> I can put you on the top row and take my wife down to the second row, and then she could be small and you can be big. No, I don't want to be big. <laughs> Team Jim. I'm the guy behind the guy. <laughs> Well, I'm surprised you didn't subscribe as a, you know, live wire. Uh, yeah, I mean, we should. I never thought of that. We did it like we did the little like super chat thing for bourbon junkies, not super chat, but whatever it is, the sub on YouTube, oh, you yeah, know, where you get the little the channel. Yeah. Where you get the BJ. BJ next to the name and stuff. We did that one as live wire, but yeah, we, we kind of do our own. We get a support like that comes out of our pockets, not the live wire whiskey bucket. Oh, okay. All mine's tied together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have to, since we're in different locations and, you know, two people, we, you know, we kind of have to be separate but together still. So we haven't quite figured out, like, all the, I mean, we're not doing it as, like, a big money maker, But uh, I'm, like, over transparent as I move money in and, you know, my Venmo is tied. Like, I'm always making sure Adam knows what's going on. Yeah, I just launched a Venmo yesterday, too, for some reason. Because somebody said they didn't have PayPal. I'm like, all right, I'll set up a Venmo. Yeah, PayPal was way easier because our Venmo, your Venmo is tied to your phone number, and we both had our own Venmo. Oh, yeah. So it was, we'd have to get out, and it has to be a mobile. So we tried getting a Google Voice number, and they're like, that oh, work. that won't work as a mobile, you know, it needs to be a mobile number. So we're like, Phew. Because it would make it easier than having you know me track it, deposit the Venmo, move it over to the PayPal, just to keep it all in a sign bucket. Yep. Yeah. And then I tied it to my secondary account just because you can't store money in your PayPal and move money around in PayPal without having it tied to a bank account, which we don't have like a Livewire Whiskey bank account. So that's another thing that we. We got to figure all that stuff out, but we're not really that worried about it right now. It's small money. I have way more in the go out column than I do the go in column. That's pretty much right. Money. Yep. I would just like to get to the point where I could get one bottle a month. <laughs> that doesn't cost me money. Yeah. I could get enough to cover one bottle. Doesn't have to be a great bottle. Yeah. It usually covers the you know we usually get i mean obviously with the donations we had on sunday it covered the you know the bottles that we gave away you know even before the donations we were pretty much even on the bottles we were giving away but it helped us get to a point because we paid out of pocket for shirts so we can pay ourselves back for the shirts yeah. and then that you know anything extra can go into the bucket there and yeah we want to we want to get bottles and you know start giving out like one ounce samples to, you know, whether it's Patreon or one out, you know, just donators or whatever it is, you know, make sure that, you know, when we get a cool bottle, like a four gate or, you know, an old card or whatever we can get our hands on, try to send that out to everybody and not just be about us. So, so uh, without prying exact numbers, uh, how did you do on the giveaways? I've never done one. I want to do one, but since I go on at three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> it's hard to do one. But yeah, could just you need to have the quantity them. there. So we had 31 entries before, you know, uh, Shane 
uh, Big League and Tim Evans, you know, did their donations. Right. And uh, I want to say we ended up with 61 after that or 62. Okay. So at, you know, roughly five bucks per entry, that was, yeah, yeah I mean, it wasn't 10 bucks. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Yeah, it was about three. Yeah, it was about, I think I want to say it was 305 is what we ended up with, you know, on the the Sunday one. So that wasn't okay. too bad. And that helps us pay for StreamYard. We, you know, we do the the big StreamYard one. So that's what. Yeah, I just one. upgraded my StreamYard so I could get rid of the duck. Yeah, and you can put your branding on it and all that. Oh, I've got all sorts of stuff happening that's going to premiere this weekend, uh, including the Patreon. You probably could see it, that new logo on the red shirt. That's going to be my uh, up in the corner logo. Oh, that's, that's cool. What I yeah. Put on that shirt. Yeah. Yeah, and I think uh, I'm going to start incorporating some OBS stuff. So we're still going to use StreamYard, but I'm going to put OBS in there just to, you know, see, like you see the flames in the background of what Ken's got going on here in the the stream, being able to do stuff mm -hmm. like that where it's not limited to what, oh, you know, to because StreamYard doesn't really have much customization other than putting a little bit of branding on it. You know, like we have that pub background, you know, and our logo on it. Um you know, and then there's a way to do that in StreamYard. You could have a background. Yeah, yeah, we have a background on it, but yeah. like you can do other customizations. It makes it easier to pull in individual files, videos, you know, stuff that doesn't take up space um, in StreamYard. So I'm gonna play with it. I don't know exactly. You know, it's not convenient for Adam to do for days I'm not there, but he can do just standard StreamYard when I'm not there. Yeah, you gotta stay up for whiskey encore, Jim Morris. I stay up as long as I can for whiskey encore. <laughs> it was hard for me this week because I didn't have a gig on Saturday night, so I literally had to stay up and do nothing until it was late enough to go live. Yeah, we should have just done a hangout and gotten hammered waiting for your stream. I was pretty hammered from uh, starting 10 p.m. my time on Friday with Ken till I finished up at 4 a.m. on Sunday. I pretty much drank the whole time other than a couple little Simon naps along the way. Yeah, I do have to, uh, after Ken's stream on Friday night where I was up pretty late, like one o'clock my time in the morning, like Saturday hit and I was just like, oh my God, I can't. I mean, I'd had a drink, you know, for the 24 hour cheers and the, you know, thing we did, but after oh, that, I was like, I'm done. I need more water. Yeah, Jim, I was I just, wiped out I was just after Ken's stream, and point. I didn't even, I wasn't I even here for 24 hours. Out. Um, hey, Edward, good to see you, buddy. I'm sorry I missed you in the chat. I didn't have chat open. I just was uh, staring at these ugly mugs on the screen. Sounds like you're doing a lot on your stream, though, Cheech. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm staying busy. <laughs> well, I'm saying I'm handsome. Uh, this past <laughs> weekend, I didn't have a I didn't have a bunch of people on on air with me because most people were tired from being on Ken's stream over the course of 24 hours. So it was, it was a smaller hangout. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I had Frederick was there for he hung out for about an hour, and uh, and Adam came in from his uh, camping cabin trip with his friends. He was pretty fucking lit. Yeah, he was. Yeah, <laughs> he was drunk on Ken's stream, yes. like hunting for horses or something. We don't know what it was. No telling. Yep. Yeah, the uh, yeah, our stream was pretty tame on Sunday too, but it was fun. I, I mean, I had a good time on our stream. Oh, it was a good stream with all the fucking <clears throat> shoutouts. Yeah. Good yeah, time. Marty. Marty was working hard. You know. Yeah. Yeah, Marty, yeah, yeah, Marty yeah, yeah. struggles. He wants to grow his channel at light speed. And I was like, hey, dude, like, just enjoy making the channel and, you know, let it be organic. Like those first, you know, 150, 200, you know, that's the, the normal YouTube whiskey tube folks, right? Like yep. after that, it's got to be more organic. And yeah, Marty's trying to gain like 50 yep. followers a week. And I'm like, uh, I'm good with five. If I get five a week, I'm solid with that. That's yeah. So yeah, exactly. Plus, uh, yeah, you see a lot of bigger play. channels. I won't name names, but there's a lot of bigger channels that might have, let's just use a round number of 5,000 subscribers, but they still only have 40 people in chat. 
I like to look at it as a percentage. Okay, I've got 210 subscribers and I get, you know, 25 to 50 people in my chat. That's a pretty high percentage of the people that follow me. Whereas you get something with 5,000 channels with 50 people in chat, they only have 1% of their subscribers actually watching their streams. And, you know, candidly, like we're already to a point where, you know, sometimes it's hard for some people to get into our stream. You know what I mean? So they want to, you know, they want to join StreamYard and, you know, they, you know, we have to pull people out and put, you know, other people in and like, I don't want like taking people out, right? If you're talking and part of the pub, like that's great. That's an advantage of OBS, quite frankly. Um, like I might have found a workaround on that. That if somebody can do a screen share of their own chat, like you you get you get a personal one going and you bring it in as a screen share, you could have another nine people in one box. Oh, yeah. You could you could call it the lobby or something, and then those people can be added to the regular stream, but they could still be on screen and they could still comment, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, and so OBS Ninja that Ken uses outside of the issues it has with a Mac. <laughs> That's when you why have I a Mac it. and that freaking it doesn't like Macs. But well, well the, new, that, the like... new OBS once the new OBS is updated, it will work on the Mac. Oh, it'll be better. It'll yeah, be. and that's yeah, where. Coming out new day now. Yeah, so that that's the problem we have. Like to have ten thousand subs and you know, like bourbon junkie quantity of people. You know, with you know having just you know the more people we have in chat, the smaller percentage can be on screen at one time. Yep, and so that's you know another consideration because it's it's not just like tens actually a lot on stream mm -hmm. like you hear us talking over each other and interrupting each other because even that one second two second delay you know you end up interrupting each other so you know having twenty you know could almost be unruly because you can't have like like in a real pub you have side conversations right like. You know, you and whiskey should yeah. start talking, and me and Ken start talking, and you know we have yeah. side conversations, and we are like, "Oh, you guys, what about you know?" And that's how you know it works when you're in a bar. It's hard to do that because it really is, you know, a single. You know, it has to be kind of singular conversation, right. a single train of thought that's going on at any given time. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know that. Like, I like the idea of more than ten, but I'm not sure how feasible that would be and how entertaining that would be for people in chat trying to follow along, you know? Well, I... well what was the, what was the max you had on, on the weekend? And I know oh. at one point when I was on, I think there was like 10 Whoa. there. Yeah. Yeah. Ken, what was the most amount of people that you had on your stream There once. was a little bit of, a little over bit of overlap. Hours. 12. 12. <clears throat> Yeah. That seems to be a lot to manage, um, as Mike was saying, you know, with people talking over each other and you get laughter going and everything else. It, you could just lose track real quick. I yeah, try like to do my side conversations as a an instant message or a or a text message when I'm on a live stream where there's a lot of people. I want to. Yeah, I try to look at like when I'm you know running our stream. I try to look and say, oh, like you know, Cheech will go like this, or Stanley always does this. You know, he's always like. You know, <laughs> But yeah, yeah it's, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I try to read it because, you know, you people get like everybody wants to be funny, me included. Right. So it's like Cheech will be saying something. Then I I make a joke over top of him while he hasn't finished his thought. And then Tito <laughs> makes his joke over top. And then, you know, Adam, you know, and it's like Tito, you know, Cheech is like, OK, can I go now? <laughs> like, yeah, I, so I can yeah, finish. Yeah, OK. Yeah. I just do slow mo. You remember yeah. the slow mo stuff I was doing last night? Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Damn funny. No, well, yeah. I had some lag on my end, so it kind of looked slow mo on my end. I'm like, oh, I should really play that up. Let me, uh, let me actually slow mo myself. It was pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Like, I, I mean, I, I want more <laughs> subs. Like, it's kind of fun to track that, but I don't want that to be the point of our channel either. You know, it's. It's fun when we get, you know, it's, I, I feel like we have few subs on our channel. You know, I think we're at like 170 something subs or something like that on our channel after, you know, five weeks, which is not bad. And, but we still right. get like Klein to come in and be part of it. The likes, you know, some of these like, you know, kind of fun streams. We haven't had the shelf turds yet, but we're, we're late, right? Like we run late East coast time. So 
you know, some people can't make those late streams unless you're Bobby Battalion or, you know, Klein, who, who doesn't mind, you know, or Cheech, who's staying up till four in the morning. Time. I just stay up all the time. Yeah. With that Uberman <laughs> sleep schedule. Yeah. I did that for three years straight. I've adjusted since then, but I did that for three years straight, that Uberman schedule. There's no evidence that adopting a polyphasic sleep schedule is advantageous to a monophasic or biphasic sleep schedule. Right. <laughs> but if you look if you look at all the people throughout history that were fucking geniuses like Einstein and Da Vinci and everything, they all had fucking Ben Franklin. Non monophasic sleep schedules. Yep. Yeah, the Uberman's also called the Ben Franklin sleep schedule. He was known to only sleep uh, 15 to 20 minutes every four to six hours. And he would do that for weeks at a yeah. time. Oh, yeah. wow. That's crazy. Like, can you even get into that REM sleep when you're doing 20 minutes? Immediately. Oh, like, really? As soon as I fall asleep, yeah. I'm in dream state. Immediately yeah, crazy. Into REM. Yep. Yeah, and it tends to be a little bit more lucid as well. So if you're into astral projection or anything like it's that, uh, yeah, it works yeah, very well. Stuff. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. And that, I've done all that. But I'm, I'm so fucking lazy to do my, my sleep stuff. It's, it's such a hard fucking thing. To, That's why I use Hiawatha really all the time. Oh, do you? You're out there in the... In the <laughs> I've never done it. Yeah. Oh, you've done proper like Hiawatha? Adventure. No, I just saw a show on it one time. Yeah. I've done it. Oh, you've done it? Yeah, have you yeah. done proper... Have you done DMT, uh, as in, or have you done proper ayahuasca? Yep, both. I'm a psychedelic. So you've adventure. done the proper. Yep. So you've done the proper full domestic trip, domain trip with yep. the ayahuasca yes, shaman. Oh, yep. I'm so jealous. He's in a band, dude. He can try anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, our band is completely straight. Nobody even drinks in the band. We, we're, uh, yeah. Straight, straight people in the band. I that's why I wait to get home to drink because we don't drink at shows. Oh, that's good. The whiskey on is like literally that. my first drink of the night. That's yep, chasing can never that's sleep. Bad. Yep, pretty much sleep when I'm dead. Oh man, yep, when I'm dead. We, we need to talk. I, I want to talk. I want to talk. Okay, we can get right into yeah, lucid dreaming and astral projection and fucking yep. the method trip domain. And yeah, <laughs> I love that. shit. <laughs> Well, when Australia opens back up, you'll yeah, have to. As a, uh, as a DJ, I'm not saying you have to go to South America to do the ayahuasca because there's definitely places in I the want to. U.S. that you could do that now. But South America is the place. Yeah, to do I know. It. I know there's some states. I know some state places in the states that you can do it. But no, I really want yep. to do the the full South American ayahuasca shaman thing. Yeah. Well, there's one group of people I, I know was, out west that uh, they bring a shaman in from South America and they, they do it over the course of a weekend. They do the full ritual rites and everything else that goes along with it. And that's part of a, yeah. kind of a retreat. Was, yeah, I, have to, yeah. I have to jump on a call. I'll be watching in the background. I got to jump off. All right. Bye, Mike. See you guys. See you, Cheech. See you, Mike. See you all. See you, Mike. All right, mate. See you, Mike. How, was the, how many times have you done it? Like the full... See, as, as uh, a DJ, I'm just the other way around. DMT, I always have a uh, few, few drinks times. when I when it's like I put a few. Yeah, it's been a bit. Yep. So that's did you was it smoke it and bang you're mm -hmm. in fucking. Yep. Aliens, well, like as Joe Rogan says, fucking. <laughs> what's you're what's in, say? You're in math. Is what mushrooms? You end up at... Mushrooms times a million plus aliens. Something like that. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> It's pretty intense. It's <laughs> been like, short lived. Fucking yeah, rocket it's short lived. Ship. Yep. Ten say ten minutes and you're fucking yeah. Yeah, nice. I'd say 10, 15 minutes. The ayahuasca is uh, hours and hours and hours. Yeah, that, that's the one I want. I want the full ayahuasca experience. Yeah. And Cody, I, I wanted to do the I want to do the full fucking shamanic pyroid fucking experience, the proper one, the whole fucking the cleansing, the, the whole. Smoking ritual, the, the whole thing. I'm, yeah, I want to do that. Well, Fuck yeah. 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 Gotta get that good stuff. Jim Morris claims to be a, a night owl. Sugar Kitty. Sugar Kitty is not a she. Yeah. 
That makes no, your flirting very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Illusion shattered. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who was on? Whose stream was that on? That was somebody's stream like a, a few days ago. Ken and psychoactive drugs is a scary thought. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> was that uh, shelf turd stream the other night? The thought was, was that Neon the shooter kitty thing? No, it wasn't shelf turds. Who was it? it was somebody stream because somebody went, "What? Sugar kitty is is a guy?" And then he was coming in and going, "Yes." <laughs> Actually, that was the 24 hour stream. That was, was Juju. That's right. It was Juju. Yeah, it was the 24 hour stream, and Juju was like, <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I remember now. Oh, uh, dear. So, have you, uh, I'm guessing you've done psilocybin since you've done dimethyltryptamine. Yep. 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 I'll probably say yes to pretty much anything at this point. Not that yes to do it right now, but yes, I've done it in the past. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yes. LSD? Yes. Yes. Um, I told you I'm a psychedelic adventurer, or at least I was. Now I'm a daddy and all that stuff. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta do the you gotta do the adulting. Uh kinda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to a degree. Nice. What's the legal status of, of those things in Australia? Ah, uh, completely and utterly. What? Everything's yeah, illegal. Right? Everything is illegal. Yep. Can't do shit. Not even plant based? Can't do shit. No. Nothing. Yep. That's South sucks. Australia and the ACD, ACT hey, marijuana back. is decriminalized. <laughs> but everything else. Reckon, Simon? It was pretty funny a few years ago what that methotriptone become hyped up. All the acacia trees here, all the bark got completely fucking stripped of all the fucking oh, trees. Shit, and yeah. and shit. People making up their, their fucking DMT. Fucking hippies. It was funny because the, the the government was like, "Oh, we need to we need to ban these gra uh, these fucking um, acacia trees and shit." And I was like, "Well, you got normal fucking pussy willow grass and all this shit. It was fucking in everything." <laughs> yep, <laughs> ban it's trees. In <laughs> yep, it's in every grass and fucking tree and plant you can fucking imagine. I'll just be boring and stick to my whiskey. There you go. Sorry, no. Whiskey and edibles is pretty nice, just as saying. Oh, I've never liked edibles. I've never uh, liked the, I don't like that kind of experience. To each his own, right? Yeah. And and the, no matter, even if it's a, an indigo or a fucking or the other one, I, my, right. I'm not one of these people. I, I'm not saying what I have or haven't in the past, but. <laughs> um. Other people would be falling asleep, and I'd be like I was on speed, because my mind like oh fucking my mind's all just fucking ten thousand yeah. miles a fucking gallon, you know, and everyone yeah. else is fucking. Yeah. Even if it was an indigo, I'd, I'd be still fucking pinging. Yeah, I'm I'm That's pretty active mind. in the brain, as it is. So just yeah, I'm the... twenty every day. Yep. Four twenty every day. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> Just yep. like Dre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll be right back, fellas. Like, obviously, you've seen the spirit molecule and and dived into all that and with Jade Rogan. Um... Oh. I love that fucking ticket thing. I can still hear you. I've just uh, I have to step away for a second. Ah. <laughs> Roger that. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to remember his fucking name. McKenna, McKenna. You know what I'm talking about. Hendry, Hendry McKenna. Yeah, exactly. It was my stream when we were talking about Sugar Kitty, yeah. When Juju fucking, when Julie went, what? 
Mike Stahl. <laughs> Just said you shouldn't do meth. Why? Cause it's a gateway drug. <laughs> I think if you're doing meth, you're way past the fucking <laughs> the gateway. That guy is the fucking hell. <laughs> That's what that gate is. Yeah. You've stepped. The gate is fucking ripped off its hinges if you're yeah, doing Yeah, the gate's meth. way fucking behind you. <laughs> that thing's wrapped around your fucking leg as you're dragging yourself to the fucking pit. <laughs> oh. Hell yeah. Jim Morris. Just said a gateway to what? <laughs> Hell. Actually, it was on Facebook. I was looking at something that was a scary. It looked like the, the character from fucking um, Tales of the Crypt. This woman was on. Oh my god, it was fucking scary. It's like, yeah, that's why you don't do fucking meth. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Ed. What I was saying before is, as as a DJ, I'm, and I'll I'll be honest here. I am fifty one in a few weeks. Uh, I've been DJing since I was in my teens, and most of it has been pubs and clubs. So as a DJ, yeah, I'm usually three sheets to the wind when I do a gig. <laughs> Fuck doing it so. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> like, I usually have a few beforehand, and in a. So, a standard gig, standard gig for me these days is a three hour set. And. I'll chug anywhere between probably six. To ten drinks in that three hours. Fair enough. <laughs> so I'm in a, a similar frame of mind. It me because like um, it's like it's not overly unusual or surprising for a, a band to only have a, a smallish rider like a, a four or five piece band might only I think two balls muted no uh, it's breaking up um no, you know i don't hear them at all a dozen beers whereas um i am Yep, you're breaking up, Gibble. But yeah, it's like, like, like as a DJ, you didn't get any of that. You know, manager. Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to feed that gerbil. <laughs> we got that. Yeah. Your hamster wheel's broken. <laughs> Yeah, it could be. Yep, your hamster wheel's broken. Yeah, women whiskeys. My Carly's going to be getting her glass. She's getting her glass soon. She's super, super happy. It's gonna yeah, they have over 300 people on, uh, on, on Instagram. They're like at 315, I think. No, more than that, I think. Probably. I don't really keep up with Instagram. I make like one post every few days. Maybe. I make one post like every fucking two months. I'm really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new to it, so it's still exciting for me. <laughs> Fosties. No, we don't drink fucking Fosties. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the story about the M&Ms? Oh, that's a point. Simon. Yep. Have you joined the League of Normal Humans on Planet Earth and watched the Holy Grail? 
No comment. We can't be friends anymore. No. Yep. <laughs> Sign Where's off. Where's that shrubbery? A shrubbery? You are shocking. Even to the point where my mate went to a 50th birthday party and he went as the Dark Knight. That's awesome. was awesome. <laughs> he was standing there with the fuck. None shall pass. <laughs> so fucking good. It's like <sighs> shocking. Absolutely shocking, Simon. And you haven't even seen any of the Austin Powers. And he probably doesn't even know what the reference oops. The reference of this is with the when I just said, Did I ever tell you this story about the M and M's? No, nah, he hasn't got a clue. <laughs> Nothing. <sighs> All right, that's that's another movie. You gotta watch those. <laughs> hey, cheers, Edward. Edward's gotta go. It just it's late. It. Edward's gotta go. All right, cheers, man. Cheers, Ed. See you next time. We are no longer the knights who say we are no longer the knights. We are now the knights who say exactly. I have to go watch Holy Grail. He, he should have. Right. Simon, you're a Simon for the two months so gone gone and Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yep. <laughs> Fair enough. You need, need uh, to go and watch Bill and Spinal Pat, Tap. Austin Powers, Monty Python, all of the Monty Python, watch the fucking movies and all of Monty Python fucking flying circus. Um, and what's the other one with Bill and Ted? Uh, you uh, need to watch um, Star Trek. Oh, yeah. You need <laughs> to watch catch Star up Trek. Star Trek. <laughs> You're never going to get caught up on Star Trek. Just go with the movies first. <laughs> yeah, just do the movies. <laughs> this is Spinal Tap. You need to watch that one as well, Simon. Yeah, that's not the movie I was talking about. Oh, hell yes. Party on. Excellent. I mean, you got to watch you got to uh, watch Bill Wayne's and Ted's World and, Adventure. And Bill and Ted Epic Adventure. Yeah. Did they call it Epic Adventure over oh, there? I know it had different titles musical, depending on what country parody. it was in. Like in the U.S., it was excellent adventure. I think in, I think it. I want to say in Great Britain, it was billed as something else. It was like Bill and Ted's. Um, wasn't excellent adventure. I forget what it was, but they they had different titles depending on where it was being shown in the world. Well, some that's languages like, don't have a, an equivalent yeah. of excellent, I guess. Yeah, and that was excellent adventure here. Okay. Didn't they just you definitely miss the M and M reference? Yep, they did come out with new. <laughs> Haven't seen it. And some other classics for uh, with um, musical parody films. Princess Bride. So many have you seen the Princess Bride? Uh, there's a rap parody one called Fear of a Black Hat. Inconceivable. Inconceivable. <laughs> Simon, be so Princess good. Bride. <laughs> Simon, Princess Bride. No comment. What? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my I fucking seen god! Anything. You've never seen Princess Ever. Bride. <laughs> Jesus Christ. As you wish. Oh my god. I'm gobsmacked. It's like. I just imagine Simon living a very sheltered yeah, existence. There's where like a, uh, electricity is new. You know, and I think there's so. been no movie theater. There's <laughs> <laughs> in a hut on the beach. I was not born <laughs> yeah. in the 1940s, so I don't know these movies. What? Uh, uh, <laughs> Fuck you. That's almost funny. I was born in the best year ever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> you fucking heathen. Even if you even if you were born like fucking in the last twenty years, these movies you need to go back and, and fucking th- these are classics. I mean come what about Alright, let's let's go with first blood. Oh, Rambo. Are you serious? Yeah, Rambo. Oh, no, I've seen Rambo. Rambo, yeah. How about Harry Potter? We went in fucking Harry Potter that kind of house. Fucking Harry Potter. <laughs> JD with the Fast hey. Times of Ridgemont That's High. That's pretty funny. If you haven't... Hell like, yeah. You weren't even born when fucking <laughs> First Blood came out, so... You can take your fucking statement back. <laughs> if you, if you love spinal, this is Spinal Tap. There's a a rap parody film called Fear of Black Hat. It's fucking epic. You should watch that. <laughs> it takes the piss out of the rap industry in the eighties and nineties. Unbelievable. <laughs> inconceivable. Yeah, inconceivable. <laughs> you, you should try out for the Brute Squad. I am the Brute Squad. <laughs> when did TJ? <take> you? <laughs> it's Ceno Man. Ceno Man. But, uh, 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 I'm yeah. guessing you've never seen. I can't believe you haven't seen. This I know. Right? I mean, I can understand you haven't seen cool stuff like uh, Wind in the Willow and Casablanca and Maltese Falcon. You know, Jesus, some old school shit. Yeah, <laughs> and fucking amazing shit. <laughs> You need to watch those, man. Oh, he's man. back. It might just be easier to ask Simon the four films he has seen. Um, they were all <laughs> before 1941. <laughs> Have you seen Star Wars? <laughs> Any of them? <laughs> what is this? Star something Wars? <laughs> what are you t- <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yes, I have seen them. Which ones? Um, and you've got to, you've got to have seen Stripes, right? Oh I'm my god! Old. I'm not that old. Bill Murray, <laughs> Stripes. It's got nothing to do with fucking age. <laughs> I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this either. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, <man. laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> oh. You're killing me. Top gun? What do you mean, gun? Gun top or top gun? <laughs> See, now you just take Yeah, now you just think so. Yes, I have seen Top Gun. Talk to me, Goose. And I was probably about two years old. When I hope for you, it. yeah. So you've seen the Holy Trilogy of Star Wars. <laughs> I have not. Oh, yeah. What's... Well, you haven't seen Star Wars if you haven't seen the Holy Trilogy. Any of that recent shit isn't Star Wars. That's right. There is the Holy fucking Trilogy. A that's New Hope, that's Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Yeah, I'm not that That's old. it. Yeah, I didn't see that. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm, I'm seriously going to show my age now. I remember going to see Return of the Jedi at a midnight screening of the drive-in. That's the fucking way to do it. 
Oh, now we're talking, JD. Can yeah. Yeah. Shack. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that was a film. <laughs> we, we need to get fucking Simon some culture. <laughs> no, Jim, he wouldn't oh, even know what? what the fucking Christmas special is, mate. He wouldn't even have a fucking clue. He, he's, he's probably seen the Family Guy versions of Star Wars, though. What is Family Guy? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Man, he's trying to piss me yeah. off. That's why he's not here anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. Jim Morris said Simon's the type of person that's only seen the Star Wars Christmas special. <laughs> Yeah, that's not, what I said. Not he even that. Star Wars Christmas. Yeah, yeah right. we know, we know the fucking clue. How about Caddyshack? That's what JD Bourbon approach just said. Caddyshack. It's a golf yeah. movie. Never. Heard you might of like it. No. What? Like I said, I'm not born in the 1930s, so I don't know these. Movies. You got to stop saying that. Keeps getting that. further back in time. That's awesome. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta keep stop saying that fucking hell. <laughs> I'm not that old and I'm fucking oh, silly, you're a fucking you know, I've watched shitloads of shit way before I was born. Like Maltese Falcon for fuck's sake. That's a, that's a pretty good well, movie. I've never heard of that. That's a fucking epic movie. So that was it's in black and white nineteen twenties. Nineteen Oh my god. Oh, god. <laughs> Let's get back to drinking whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Maltese Falcon came out in 1941. Oh, so about the time you, were close. you guys were all born. I <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ages no yeah, excuse. I've good seen call, Jim. Them. I made sure my no parents parents were born. You brat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You sure about you that? I'm fucking heathen. I reckon they came out about the time you were 18 years old. What about what about flying high or in in the US yeah. airplane? Airplane flying high. Never heard of that. No. Nah. Nah. Surely you can't be serious. I am. And please, don't call me Shirley. <laughs> what about Police Academy? <laughs> police Academy. <laughs> like I mentioned, I was not born in the oh. nineteen nineteen. <laughs> 1910. 1990. <laughs> I was not born in 1910. <laughs> so, going back to fucking so, Jim's statement. Age is yeah. no excuse. When uh, when the lockdown first happened here, uh, Jen and I were getting really bored about what to watch, and I'm like, let's watch all of the Police Academy movies. So over the course of a week, let me tell you, oh, yeah. after number two, they're not very good. No, they're not. But the first couple of them are pretty, no, you are pretty right. hilarious. The first one's epic. It's so good. I've, I've actually seen but Michael Winslow perform live. I think there was like seven of them. Fucking amazing. Well, there's five, and then there was like a direct-to-video release of something they did. I don't know what that one yeah. was. Yeah, but I think there's five actual released films. Point yeah, Break. Michael yeah, Point Break. Yeah. That's a good movie. Yeah. Point Break. Actually, I think I've seen that one. Is that the surfing music movie? Oh, fuck. We've got yes. one out of the yeah. family. Yeah. One, finally. Yeah. Yeah. Surfing and bank robbery. Yep, exactly. I did see that one. So many classic Netflix lines from that uh, film, though. I mean, it's like, is timeless, do any of you have it? Do either of you have anything remotely nice interesting to tell much. me today? Yeah. 
I caught my first tube today, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I literally God. haven't heard anything Cuba in the last few minutes. Dead silence right. in my empty <laughs> cubicle. I might need to reload. I'll be back. I just saw that Mike Stoll said uh, that Kingpin was an awful movie. Mike Stoll. Okay. We're not yeah, friends anymore. Mark Stoll, he was born in the, what was it, 1870s? So I don't know. <laughs> why <I was> <laughs> <laughs> so pre-American <laughs> Civil War, that's when uh, Mike Stoll was, was born. <laughs> yep. <laughs> At least, I mean, minimum. The records weren't very good back then. It could have been way earlier. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they didn't get people's names down correctly. Yep. Here we go. Ah, Simon, Simon, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> now, what I was saying before about Point Break is it's like, have either of you two got anything remotely interesting to tell me? I caught my first tube today, sir. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm glad you've seen that. That's that's great. <laughs> oh, Point Break is is one of my. Uh, that's very high on my list of classic films that everyone should fucking watch. Which one? I mean, they actually That's did a, a, a second version of it. No, they didn't. There is That's only the yes. one we're going to read. No. That's fucking it. No, they... Yeah. They made yeah. a reboot and they exactly. fucked it up. I haven't actually watched the reboot. I refuse to. Simon's a douche. <laughs> <laughs> Uncultured heathen. <laughs> Uncultured swine. <laughs> yep. I couldn't resist. <laughs> I bet he has. I hope you're writing all these films down, Simon. You need to download these and watch them. Yes. So, Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Caddyshack, Stripes, the first two Police Academy films, Point Break, <laughs> Breakfast Club, yes, Mike, Spinal Breakfast Tap. Club. Yeah. <laughs> this is Final Tap, Fear of a Black Hat, um, oh, Better yeah. Off Dead. That's so good. Um... Say anything. Sixteen candles. Another absolute classic. Pretty you anything. Don't get Casablanca, Maltese Falcon. Get along the waterfront. So as soon as, <laughs> so as, soon as I turn one hundred years old, I watch them. He's skiing on one ski. <laughs> <laughs> Good call, Mike. I want my two dollars. This is pure snow. Ski in the K twelve. Yeah. <laughs> is everybody? Yeah, it's got that some? great animated scene in it with a uh, burger and doing mm. Van Halen. Good yep. stuff. I think yeah. Halen track. And that car. Oh, yeah. It was a 69 Ooh, tomorrow. It's a nice car. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's when I actually fell in love with Camaro. I was born in the year of the best, best year for Still American current. muscle cars. 1970 is the best year for American muscle cars. 
Nah, 60 I can wear. Oh, they're nice looking, but as far as like the technology and the power all culminated in 1970 and then the United States released these new cafe standards that made all the manufacturers drop to smaller engines, you know, put catalytic converters on everything and, you know, basically yeah. choked out the American muscle car. Fucked it. 1970 yeah. was the pinnacle. My opinion. I could be wrong. Yeah, the um, the Plymouth Roadrunner played a yeah. big part in that. <laughs> Let's give people a car with 800 horsepower. What could happen? <laughs> and, and poor suspension. You know, here in Australia, it was... Um, so here in Australia, the, the pinnacle of muscle cars is the uh, the 71 Ford Falcon GT HO. So when they try that was the phase three and when they tried to do the phase four they changed the rules so it never actually went in oh. production so. <laughs> yeah joe dirt's another good one mike yes i have sure. seen that one joe dirt <laughs> what yeah <laughs> oh yes i'm your sister <laughs> How about Waterboy? Have you seen Waterboy? Yes, uh, d yes, uh, I've seen. Adam, <laughs> I Adam think we Sandler. figured out Simon's taste in film. Yep. Oh, dude. <laughs> See, with American Muscle, for me, still the big one is the, the Dodge mm -hmm. Charger. Oh, yeah. As, you know, as a young kid watching the Duke yeah. Hazard, you know, you fell in love with the they're fucking generally... Charger. Yep. <laughs> and there's still a solid bang for buck muscle car, you know? Because you get that big 440 cubic inch. They didn't handle well, but... They're great in a straight line. Oh, shit. Actually, there was um, on... Oh, shit, what do they call it? On Motor Trend, there's a, a channel that they did where they actually got a... I'm not sure if it was a 69 or a 70 Charger. And they put a Hellcat drivetrain in it. <clears throat> Simon. Yep. Godfather. Yes, I have seen all of them. Okay. Oh, yes, Jim. Roadkill, that's it. Roadkill. <laughs> yeah, so on the on the Motor Trend channel, um, there's like a sub-channel called Roadkill, and they do some epic shit. Uh, like they did a road trip from, I think it was LA to Vegas, off-road in a lowrider. <laughs> and I have seen Mad Max, Ken. Yeah, Days of Thunder was a good one too, Mike. The original. <laughs> all of them? Yep, all of them. Have you seen all of them? Yep. Well. Uh... Yeah, that, that Falcon Coop in Mad Max, that's... That's an Australian fucking man's wet dream, that car. We just thought, watched that about a week ago. Me and Jen, Ooh. late late night, we watched a, uh, Mad Max. Yeah, that was on the 24-hour stream. You had oh, dinner and then yeah, we, we watched we, Mad Max. We watched that. We haven't watched Thunderdome yet, but we watched the, ah. the first two. They Excellent. Are. I just want to be closer to my Australian friends, and I figure if we watch that piece of cinematic uh, genius, then... Uh, it's almost like being in Australia, right? You guys just drive around in giant road-killing machines all the time. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 
We well, have those other uh, Aussie classics. Yeah, we do. You have those trains. Hot Angry Shot, Bridge River Kwai. Yep. No, I've seen Same Gallipoli. I've, I've seen that one. Have you seen Odd Angry Shot? Oh, the Odd Angry Shot's an absolute classic. Odd Angry Shot, Bridge and River Kwai. Yep. Razorback. Yes, I, I've <laughs> seen Razorback. <laughs> With that big fucking wild <laughs> pig. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh fuck it! Yeah. Mad Max was like a couple. No, it was like last year, wasn't it? Yeah, we're living it right now. <laughs> yeah, we're meant to be in it now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to say something about actually the the wonderful piece of the wonderful piece of trivia is the guy I can't remember the character's name, but the big muscle bound guy with the hockey mask in Mad Max 2, the guy that actually played him is the same guy that played uh Immortan Joe in Mad Max Fury Road. No, oh, really? Yeah, it's no, the same guy. It. Very cool. Mm. Simon, two thousand one Space Odyssey? Of course. Oh you mean the humongous guy? Is that what he was called? Humongous, yes. right? The humongous. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Ken. <laughs> it's, it's the same actor that played uh, Immortan Joe in Mad Max Fury Road. 2001. 2001. What, the Space Odyssey? Kubrick. Yeah. Uh, what, Kubrick. I watched a bit of mm. it, but yeah, no. Open the pod bay door, pal. Sorry, can you do that? And then, of course, oh, yeah. the castle. Yeah, definitely watch that. Hal, what are you doing, Hal? <laughs> 300 bucks for jousting sticks. Tell him he's exactly, dreaming. Yep. The serenity. How's the serenity? It's about the vibe. It's about <laughs> Marbo. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ken. I can't do that. <laughs> oh, and the absolute classic. Hercules returns. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. If you haven't watched that, you need to look that one up for sure. Most, Fucking most hilarious. Definitely. That's really well. Awesome. It's actually it's actually based on a on a theater production that they actually originally did where they got a a classic old 1950s film and then basically a, like they would screen the film and a group of actors would actually overdub the voices. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, we've already discussed Princess Bride, Mike, and Simon Princess admitted he Bride. hasn't seen it. <clears throat> that sounds like a pretty suspect no <laughs> fucking watch it <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't suppose by any chance you have six fingers on your right hand do you oh, yeah, don't. but princess bride i think one of my my favorite lines from that is you seem a good man. I hate to kill you. Yeah. And the response is, you too. I'd hate to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, something like that. It's been a while. Mike Stoll. <laughs>
Just said if you haven't seen Princess Bride, you're as good as someone who hasn't hit that like button. <laughs> Princess Bride. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that. Princess Bride. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my Prepare father. To Prepare to die. I mean, seriously, Simon. Fucking go watch it. <laughs> I guess Simon's not a big Mandy Patinkin fan. I, I don't think he's a fan of humanity. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Sam Suspect. Oh, Princess Bride. I am serious, Simon. You need to be writing all this yeah. shit down. And go Simon, and watch have you these seen movies. Labyrinth? What do you oh, mean? No. Pa Pants Labyrinth? No, Labyrinth with no, David it's Bowie. Labyrinth. Never heard of it. Starring David no. Bowie yeah, and his, his card piece. bulge. <laughs> like I said, I was not born in the 1920s. <laughs> no, no cod piece, apparently. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Labyrinth. I've seen Pants Labyrinth, but yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it's a good movie. If you like to read your films. Mm -hmm. yep. If you like to read your films, it's a great movie. I dropped some uh Road Warrior info in the in the chat about Humongous. I saw that. I can't stop modding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's your blood. I can't help it. I got all this information at my fingertips. Okay, what are we drinking? I'm enjoying a Canada Dry ginger ale. Oh, fair enough. Ken, I'm still recovering from uh, last night. Oh. I stayed up till, well, I stayed all on line. Uh, Mr. Whiskey Shits and Mike Stahl had their live wire whiskey private chat going. They both Ooh. dipped out and left us <laughs> going. <laughs> so the two people who started the chat were gone for at least an hour, hour and a half before I signed it off. But it was a good conversation. Lord Shane was in there and Burben was in there. Who else was in there? I can't remember everybody. No, fair enough. But it was a good hangout. Since uh, YouTube took a shit on us last night, we yeah. found a new way to hang out. Sounds good. You did it ever. <laughs> but I was drinking some uh, proofy, proofy alcohol. I'm going to get another beer. So, cue bowl, you're going beer. Ken, what are you going? Yep. Caledonia. Caledonia. Heathen. <laughs> Heathen. <laughs> well, that's what I was just drinking. Heathenism. Actually, I'm not ready to start drinking yet, but uh, I got some nice bottles yesterday. Oh, what'd you get? I got the uh, ADHD whiskey Nassif Family Reserve from Cat's Eye Distillery. Oh, yep. Nice. And uh, along with that, I also got uh, the Obtanium Rye whiskey. Oh. This is a uh, honey barrel, they're calling it. It's got a gold top on it. And then I also got Obtanium Light Whiskey. Oh, you got I got light? two of these. Um, but they're high proof. This one's 67.8% um, nice. ABV. 67.8. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. And then uh, the uh, rye whiskey is 60.7. So that's pretty high for a rye. Probably won't get to those for a few days, unfortunately. Got a lot going on. I say that, I'll probably crack yes. one of them tonight. <laughs> Good man. Well, they're right here and they're calling my name, so. Exactly. Drink me. Yep. I've got too many bottles. I want to give some away. 
You can never have enough bottles. DJ Cubal just said inconceivable. <laughs> inconceivable. <laughs> never get into a ground war in Asia and never try to patch wits with a Sicilian. <laughs> uh, Jim Moore said, okay, now you're just showing Unless off. that's what you think Jim, I, I am showing thinking. off a little bit. I didn't show you everything I got. I got multiples of a few of those bottles. Nice. Oh, Mike got some Mike stuff. Mike said he got a couple good ones yesterday. Yeah, what did you get, Mike? Three. Jim got three. Oh, Jim got three. Solid. I just got my delivery of the Starwood and my Black Knot today. Which Starwood? Yeah. The ginger beer. Still can't believe that you got that before me. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'll come over on the weekend and we'll record one on that. <laughs> I reckon it needs to open up a bit yet. I'll be the judge for that. Nice, I thought. Yeah. Well, you got a few days yet. Nah, a bit longer than that. Roll it right, smooth amber, old scout, nice. Yep. And double two. Nice. Yeah, Star would do some solid stuff, eh? Kilometre 15 and the lucky 7. Is that a rider's tears you got there, Simon? Uh, it is the um, single barrel masala cask. Mm. Ooh, noise. I'm still on the beers because I can't be bothered making a decision on what else to drink. <laughs> I was about to grab a beer. <laughs> I might still yet. Yeah, wash my arm off. I think I need to convince the boss to put some better whiskey in the bar at work. That sounds like a good idea. Yes. Yeah. Because it's, it's a very, very basic bar as far as whiskey goes. There's only, there's only probably mm, three that I'd want to drink neat mm -hmm. or on the rocks. That's Makers, Jamison, and Monkey Shoulder. I think at the very least I need to convince him to put a Glen Fitty 12 and maybe a dimple in there. And a Lefroy. Le Baby steps, mate. Mm. Baby steps. <laughs> we actually had a guy that's been coming in this week, and he's he's drinking Jamison's neat. Oh, really? Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Absolutely. But it, it's it's very much a. You know, bourbon and coke and beer kind of crowd yeah, sure. okay, yeah. that we get. So it's a bit bit tricky trying to get something else in there. What a beer! What kind of beer do you have on tap? Yeah. On tap, Iron Jack Mid Strength, 
Um, Swan Draft, 150 Lashes, mm -hmm. which is a pale, and Byron Bay. And we also have the Five Seed Cider and uh, Ginger Beer on tap, the James Squire. No AB or AB. No, Stubby's on them, mate. We did cans of export. Yeah. Fosters. <laughs> of course, you can get Coronas. Well, that's getting fucking fancy. <laughs> Do you sell those bucket of Coronas? <laughs> no, we don't do those sort of deals at the moment. I might try and talk them into that over when we come back towards summer. See if we can't do a, a deal with one of the breweries. That's only two months away. Whether it's Coronas or something else. Especially if we can do bucket deals and the guys get to take the mm -hmm. bucket with them when they finish. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. What's the best scotch under 150 bucks? What, 150 bucks American? Fuck, there's a shitload. <laughs> or a strike. Under 150 Australian, that's a fucking tough call. Yeah, it depends on your palate. Ken would probably say like a no, 16. No, depends on your palate. Mm. <laughs> I'll say Jim Bean White Label. That's a little scotch. You can fuck off. <laughs> it's not even a bourbon. It's not even a scotch. What are you talking about? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Best under one. Need more information than that, Mike. There's a, there's a shitload of whiskeys. That's right, right. Best cool. yeah. single malt, blend, cast finish. Best scotch under 150. I'd say Tam D batch strength. Yeah, but it depends on what you want. Yeah, you're going Highlands, you're going Islands, you're going Bayside, you're going Highlands, you're going fucking Campbelltown, you're going fucking Isla. Booty's maggot of ass. <laughs> Heathen ass. <laughs> That's like asking someone who your favourite band is. What genre? Yep. Australian, that's what? 20 bucks? Yeah, it's about 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's about two, uh, two, 20, 225, about that. So you know. Oh, shit, you get some pretty bloody good oh, shit no, for that price. So. Some really good shit. Sure. You get some really good age stuff for that sort yeah. of price. Oh. Yeah, it really depends on what what kind of whiskey you want. There is many a good of the rams we have at that price. Lanterns, store pick Russell, Scotch, Johnny Green. What? Oh, Johnny Green. Not for 200. Yeah. Oh, under. 
That was the thing. Where am I drinking, uh, Bambola? Where's this fucking label? Here we go. There we go. Rather's tears. Yeah, we need to know what type mic. Do you want a bourbon cast? Do you want a sherry? Do you want a P? Do you want a port? Do you want a combination? Do you want a Highland? Yeah, clarify <laughs> your shit. Yeah. Got to dial that in a bit. Even if we said it was 200 Australian, I mean, you get countless Highland Parks, Bugabullens, Lefroy, Glen Fittix, Glen Levitt, many. Ridiculous amount of cask finishes. Cheech, what are you up to? Yeah. I'm actually doing some work on the back end here. I'm still transferring okay. stuff over from my old Macintosh to my new Mac, so oh, really? a lot of things going on. Can you do the whole migration? I did, but for some reason, some of my mail, my email accounts didn't transfer over, and I'm trying to figure out why. I should have. Yeah, so it weird. That's like the one thing that did. They should, have, they should have migrated over. Well, I'm using a an off. What do you what do you say? An off-site uh, email server, <laughs> and for some reason that doesn't want to play nice with the uh, transferring <laughs> over to the new system. I'll get it figured out. I'm too sober to figure it out right now. I probably should start drinking. <laughs> yeah, that always helps. Yeah, I have some things I have to do where I got to drive in a little bit, so I can't drink yet today. It's so weird. I'm about to give up. It's just one of my email accounts uh, is, like I said, it's offshore. So, I don't but know. But you still it's using it in, in mail? Uh, yeah, it's uh, one of my self mailboxes in, in mail itself, but I don't know what's well, it should have, Yeah, it should have transferred over. You can export. You can export all your accounts and settings from mail from one machine to the other. You just have to put the password back in. Yeah, here's the thing. It's not allowing me to put my password in. There's no place for me to put my password in just for this one server. Everything else is fine, but this one, every time I try to go to update it, the the option to update password uh, just isn't there on mail. It's really bizarre. What under account settings? Yeah. Has to be. Like I could see the mailbox, I could see the mailbox name, I could see the server, but it doesn't allow me to update. What I'll probably have to do is go in my old machine and update the password there and see if it works on the old machine, but I just don't feel like doing that right now. Is it an exchange server or hop three or IMAP? It's the exchange. But I'm also going through a VPN. Um, so I think okay. that might be causing some That's why it's not, yeah, that, that, yeah, it's an exchange server and no password. It just needs the correct server. Yeah, I'll figure it out later. I give up. <laughs> a little prompt I mean, to fix it, it, just do Alt, Control, Delete, um, Cheat. They'll fix everything. <laughs> it's a I'm Mac. not on a PC. I'm not on a PC. <laughs> it's a Mac. <laughs> Go back in your box, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have you tried turning it off and back on again? Let me try that again right now. Hold on. <laughs> no, I'm, nope. I'm still here. <laughs> yep, didn't work. Highland finished. All right. Now you got to dial it in. What kind of Highland finish do you want? 
Do you like light and fruity? Do you want fucking pinky Highland? Do you want sherry bomb? <laughs> Mike Stahl says YouTube sucks. Yes. YouTube does suck. I concur. <laughs> But if all um, all else fails, um, teach just dunk it in water. That will fix it. That helps. It's yeah. weird because I can access that email account on any of my other peripherals. It's just this new Mac that I've been working on for the last Ooh, few days. Yeah. I can't get it to work on my new Mac. But it, it works on the old one. It works on my iPad. It works on my iPhone. Just this Mac does not like it. I mean, that doesn't like VPNs fun. for some reason. That's getting fun. There you go. New Mac. There you go, just do that. Go to a terminal type RM there. <laughs> Dash R full slash, yeah. That'll that'll fix it. <laughs> yeah, it'll totally fix it. Like I said, I gave up. I have things I gotta do, I gotta get going soon. If it's an exchange, kill it and then reinstall the exchange and then it'll prompt with the server yep. info and the password. That's what it is. Yeah. I'll mess with that later. That's not a delete command. That's a <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I'll just reformat my hard drive. That'll work. Yeah, exactly. I'll just wipe it. What could go wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. Yep, it is, Jim. <laughs> you guys are so helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Always double check free IT advice. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I gave you sound advice. Delete the exchange server and re enter it, and then it'll yeah, prompt. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. Oh, Joe's back. Yeah, Joe. Simon, Simon passed out about three times. <laughs> he did the Simon in the middle. <laughs> and we're trying to culture him with some actual movies to get him to be a normal human being. The, uh, the problem, Joe, is I was not born in the 1930s. So and he, he said that about <laughs> I don't know, time. I don't know I these mean. movies. <laughs> Simon, you were born in 1985, is that correct? Uh, 87. 87, okay, sorry. <laughs> Didn't want to make you older than you are. doesn't matter if you're born in 87 or fucking 27. It's got nothing. Well, you got ages, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> there there is a big difference. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking you add, you add from we, we 87 to his coming of age, so probably, I don't know, 17 years later, then you look and see what, what films were popular, which, you know, that's the early 2000s. <laughs> Nothing good. Oh, The Matrix. I bet you've seen The Matrix. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right up your alley, right? Yep. Yeah. Matrix. <laughs> Johnny Mnemonic. Saving Private Ryan. That was a good movie. <laughs> if you're going to talk about Private privates. Ryan, have you seen Apocalypse Now or Four Mills? Yes, Day? no, I've seen Apocalypse. Yep, I've seen that one. Which one? Yeah. There's hope for uh, it yet. Both the original and the Redux. Okay. So, Charlie Don't Surf, you know what I'm fucking talking about? Well, Redux is basically just a director's yeah, cut. Yeah, pretty much. Redux is so fucking good. Yeah. Have you seen Full Metal Jacket? Yes, I have, yep. Have you seen Platoon? Mm, no, I haven't seen that one yet. Go watch Platoon. 
Have you seen Where We Sold? The Deer Hunter. Yes, I have seen. We oh, Deer, Deer Hunter. Hunter. And I've seen. Yes, a Deer bit, Hunter. Yeah, I have seen a bit of Deer Hunter. Yeah, I, but yeah. Not the one. Go fucking watch Deer Hunter. I saw and that in a drive in movie theater when I was a child. My dad took me and my brother to see Deer Hunter. My, my mother used to work nights, so we used to go to the movies all the time. And we were running out of movies to see, so we started seeing rated R movies when I was uh, <laughs> much younger than I was supposed to be. Ah, fair enough. Saw Deer Hunter, saw Jaws that way, and uh, The Deep. The Deep with a. Uh, oh. With, uh, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. That was a great movie. Still holds up. It's Damn, an deep. amazing movie. Yeah, I'm, uh, that, that's pretty serious for a young kid to yeah. watch. <laughs> I think I was like nine or something like that when I saw Deer Hunter. I wasn't I, very old. Yeah, that, yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Actually, I would have been about the same, I think. <laughs> <laughs> w. O'Neill, Will says, Cheech, you're not the Lebowski. I'm not the Lebowski. I'm the dude. I'm the Lebowski. <laughs> no, I'm the dude. Hey, Jen Ardolino. I don't know if she's on and driving at the same time. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Good day, Jen. All right, so she's taking like our daughter over to Grandma's time. house. Go watch Deer Hunter. Watch Odd Angry Shot, and Hamburger Hill is a good one too. I've heard of that. Yeah, Hamburger Hill. Oh yeah. I haven't seen it. That's a good one. Heartbreak Ridge. Heartbreak Ridge. Yes, I was just about to say that. That's a great film. Yeah, Heartbreak Ridge. And then go watch some old classics like fucking Guns of Navarone, Dirty Dozen. You got to watch all those classics. Oh fuck it, Dirty Dozen. What a film. Dust Boot. Where Eagles there. Run silent, run deep. The enemy Great below. Escape. Great Escape. Three weeks. Cooler. Yeah, Great Escape. That's a fucking classic. Bullet. Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. That sound is the preferred weapon of my enemy. <laughs> Hardbait Ridge, yes. How about Kelly's Heroes? Yes. Oh, yeah. It is. Good film. Pretty much anything with Eastwood in it. Yeah, pretty much. So, Gran Torino. Oh, that's a good movie too, Gran Torino. Yep, that is a good movie. I've seen that one. <laughs> Hogan's Heroes. Dirty Harry. <laughs> yeah. The Deadpool. That's a good. I actually only watched that about a month ago. Fucking gorgeous. Actually, that Scrub Marine one with fucking Harrison Ford's not bad either. I can't remember the name of it. That's, that's not bad. Dust Boot. Yeah, Dust Boot always is it. The Widowmaker? Is that what you're talking about? Again? Do you? Punk. Yeah, I think that's it. Being this a 44 Magnum and the most powerful handgun in the whole world. You better ask yourself. Do you feel lucky? Well, do you? Punk. <laughs> do you, punk? Any which way but loose. Oh, that's great. <laughs> but let's get clean. modern. What about John Wick? <laughs> what was that, Simon? Which, John which Wick. film? John Wick. I haven't seen that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Love those movies. Seen I've seen You've not seen John Wick. I've not seen it. No. Gee, 
<laughs> I haven't watched many films, uh, new films in the last five or so years. I don't really. Uh, I'm what really busy, you, Simon. Ken? What about you, Ken? <laughs> Duh. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I mean. I mean, come on, cheat, John Wick. You haven't what? seen that. Fuck now. It's Keanu, right? And he's doing no, uh, no, martial arts, right? You can't fucking talk, pal. No, you can't no, fucking no. talk. <laughs> no, 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 no. I I found an old timer, and yeah. <laughs> old timer. There's there's a big difference between modern classics and actual right. exactly. classics. But that is a classic, John Wick. I'll check it out. It's just hard for me to set aside a. But yes, John Wick drinks oh, glass. That's enough to watch it, right? No, seriously, watch it. Yeah. Old, yeah. Old Man Joe says it's a best bourbon drinking movie. I'll have to watch it now, but anytime yeah. I have a couple hours to set aside, I usually live stream or go on somebody else's live stream. It's hard for me to just sit yeah, still and watch a film for a couple hours. No. I did watch the new kind of John Wick movie, Nobody. That was really Yeah, well I saw done. that one too. That was pretty good. Yeah, nobody's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, yep. Seriously, um, Cheech, watch John Wick. That is worth, it's worth your time. I, I will check it out. He once killed three men in a bar <laughs> with a <laughs> pencil. Yep. How about Goodfellas, Simon? Have you seen Goodfellas? Yes, I have, yep. No, they are good films. Okay, how about Casino? Have you seen Casino? Oh. Uh, yep, we yep, yep, I did. Yes. Inglorious Bastards. Yes, I have oh, seen Oh, it's so that. good. Yes. <laughs> hey, I just that got an email pretty... saying I'm getting a package oh, We're tomorrow. talking must-see Tarantino movies. It's got to oh, be yes, Reservoir Dogs. Yep. Dustle Dawn. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Seeing the, uh, the movie dog. and the TV series. We're only talking movies. No, we're not talking TV series. <laughs> Pulp Fiction. Yes, I've seen that. Just Pulp me. Fiction, yeah. Yes. Natural I, Born Yeah, Killers. Natural Born With Killers. Woody, yep. I've seen it. <laughs> Fifth Element. I actually had, had a friend of mine say he, he's never actually watched Reservoir Dogs in its entirety because he oh, couldn't really? follow the timeline. Really? It's like, well, you suck. Kaiser Zose? <laughs> but yes, Salma Hayek in Dust yeah. Till Dawn. Oh, oh my yeah. God. When she oh, walked oh, on oh, that oh. stage, yeah. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Did somebody say uh, Selma Hayek? Yeah. And Justin Gordon. Yeah, yeah. One of the hottest <laughs> Latino women in the world. Simon, did you just say... No, it was Ken. You said Kaiser yeah, Sose? Yeah, New York. That's a good one. Kaiser Sose. Usual suspects? Yep. yep. I've seen that. Yeah. W. O'Neill with Gangs of New York. Suspect. Yep. Gangs in New York. Yep. Good, man. Yep. Scorsese, man. You can't go wrong. Fuck no. Yes. American uh, Gangster. Yeah. too. With Denzel Washington, yep. Denzel Washington. Have you seen the TV series? Um, Godfather of Denzel, Harlem? So, you know. I don't watch We're television. talking movies. No. no. No TV. Just movies. Okay. But, yeah. Eight. God, Denzel and movies. Yeah. Oh, Equalizer. They're, they're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Denzel's always the same in every movie. Oh, yeah, Joe, Boondock Saints. Boondock Saints, that's Boondock good. Boondock Saints, uh, yeah. How about in Bruges? Have you seen in Bruges? In Bruges? No. Yeah. Is that with Colin yeah. Farrell? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah. That's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> Lock, yes, stock, and two smoking yeah. barrels. Oh, that's that's a good yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> All snatch. of those. All of those. Yep. Snatch. snatch. Yep. 
Yep. Snatch, Rock, Rock and Roller. Roller. Layer Cake. Fucking good films. Layer, good film. Layer Cake. Cake is good. Layer Cake is good. Yeah. 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 Fucking fantastic. If you're going to go that route, you could go Crank. Mm. Yeah. What about the, um, the Gentleman? <laughs> Yes. Yes. That's a good movie. Maybe, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the mechanic. Oh, yes. Yeah. Are you talking the original one or the modern day one? Or Jason. I would say both. Either. Yeah, both. both. Good. Now, Simon wouldn't know what the fuck we're talking about with the original. Jason. 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 I've only seen the um, new one with Jason. Go watch the original. With the man himself. It's fucking good. Just to be artsy and 22 bullets. Yeah, 22 bullets is good. All right, fellas, I got to get going. Oh, let, let's, oh, let's, shit. let's flash back to the 80s. American yeah. Ninja. Richie Z's in. <laughs> What's up, Richie Z? Richie Z. Yep. Training day for sure. Good day, Richie. Hey, Richie. Yeah, I got to get going, fellas. I got things I got to do. I'll see yeah. you all later. Oh, cheers. Thank you. All right, man. Yeah. Cheers, Cheech. Yeah, you'll yeah, have a good one. All right, good to see you, man. Colin Farrell in just about anything, really. Yeah. SWAT. Which one? Yep. He was good at yep. that. Original SWAT. Oh, yeah. Yep. Colin Farrell, Samuel L. Jackson. The Rock, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good movie. <laughs> Winners, fuck the prom <laughs> <Yeah>. queen. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just about anything with Sean Connery in it yes. is a good film. <laughs> and I, 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 I... I probably guarantee, Just guarantee that Simon hasn't seen classic Bond with Sean Connery. Uh, which one? Any of them with Sean Connery. No. I was not no. born in the 1920s. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeez, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, <my God. laughs> Goodbye. You are the winkest link. Oh. <laughs> Did you just phone him? <laughs> oh, God. Taken. How long have I been on? I've been on for oh Roger Moore. Yeah, see, I grew up with Roger Moore, but I still appreciate Sean Connery. I'm not like this heathen Simon. That... <laughs> Connery is. I know the film you're talking about, Richie. I just yeah, can't I'm remember the name. Catherine Zeta Jones. Yeah. Sean Connery, Catherine Zeta Jones. I can't remember the name of the film, but. Catherine Zeta Jones in a leather bodysuit. Yeah, yeah, I remember he's that. Training her and shit. Entrapment. That's it. Back in the eight. Thank you, Daddy. That's it. Yeah, that was a good yeah, film. That was. that was a fucking good film. Yeah, fifteen minutes away from six hours, Richie. A lot shorter than the twenty-four hour stream. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
There's so many fucking solid movies <laughs> running through my mind right now. Sin City. Yes. That was a fucking good film. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Lethal Weapon. Oh, yeah. Tell me you've seen Lethal Weapon, son. Lethal Weapon. Is that the one with, um... You've got Q-Ball and Kingstar. Mel Gibson. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I've seen it. It's Mel Gibson. Yes. Good call, JD. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That yep, was a good League film. Extraordinary Gentlemen. Back in the days. Yeah. Three tender humor, great film, Richie. But modern westerns for me, uh, Unforgiven, Silverado, um, Tombstone. Tombstone. Yeah, Tombstone. Tombstone. Make you famous with um, Kurt Russell as wired up. Young Guns. Yeah, fantastic yeah. series. Rush hour, hours. <laughs> hey, from, like, hey, JD, you want to go for a ride in a Cadillac, Reggie? If we're going to start talking Rush now, we're going to talk fucking. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we're already done Hunt for Red October. <laughs> if we're going to talk Rush now. Hate for Late, Old Man Joe, great fucking film. If we're going to talk Russia and we'll start going to talk Jackie Chan, then that's a, a whole different killer fish there. Oh, yeah. That's right in my fucking element then. I mean, you can't talk about, like old man Jay mentioned Hateful Eight, you can't talk about that without bringing up Django Unchained as well. Yeah. Both just fucking fantastic modern westerns. And even um, the one that DiCaprio was in. Um, Can't remember the name of it now. Big Trouble, Little Chinatown. Nice one, Frederick. Um, Fucking classic. Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, my God. I love that film so fucking much. Oh, Jay, hey, you just break the rock, the golden yeah. rule. Yeah, we always said that. We don't talk about. But we can't us. talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> a big trouble in Little China. I think that's one of Kurt Russell's best films, if I'm honest. Yeah, I mean the sheer lizard would say ghost. Wolf of Wall Street yeah. was good. All time horror favorite. Ooh. That's an interesting one, Rich. Mm. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, I don't do horror, but yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street, Poltergeist, Freddy, um, Hellraiser. Hellraiser. Yep. Oh, yeah, I like Hellraiser. I can pin Sorry. The Shining. The Ring. Yeah. It. Good old Jake Burton said, what the hell? The check is in the mail. Jack Burton, not Jake, Jack Burton. Evil Dead, even though it's a comedy. <laughs> this is my boomstick. top of the line. Cobot Blue Steel, hair trigger. Walnut stop. <laughs> Actually, yeah, oh, Hostel was so good yeah. too, Joe. 
I must admit, I don't actually have a lot of horror films, but I've watched a fair few over the years. But just just about anything written by Stephen King is yep. fucking bound to turn into a good film. Yeah, we've done Police Academy. Shop S Mart. <laughs> Shop Smart. Shop S Mart. Martins. I can't say I've seen that. Guns of Navarone. Did yeah, we mention I that mentioned before? That one. Did we? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I said Guns of Even I the classic. Damn Busters. Damn Busters, fuck yeah. Demolition Man? Oh, Demolition Man. Maybe I can play the accordion <laughs> too. <laughs> You always felt Wesley Snipes was a little bit underrated. Wesley Snipes was good. I mean, Blade's fucking... Yeah, yeah. I love those yeah, I Blade like movies. movies. They were good. Yeah, the only downside of the running man was Schwarzenegger. <laughs> running man's all right. It's all right. That's why I was really, really disappointed with uh, the original Judge Dredd with Stallone. Because Stallone's like 5'10", and Judge Dredd's supposed to be like 6'4", exactly. and this monster of a man. The Carl Urban one is good, though. Yeah. Yeah, Snipes is a great actor. Fucking very skilled martial artist, too. Yeah. Cheers, Joe. See you, Joe. Yeah, cheers. I should probably call it a yeah, night, too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I have to be... Not five minutes. I have I've to got be at five minutes to hit six hours. And then I'm killing it. Yeah, Richie, always bet on black. <laughs> All right, let's go to some Kung Fu movies. Kung Fu Hustle, of course. Yeah, yep. Yeah. The fucking um, bear and cub. I don't think that's the actual title of the, title of the film, but like classic old, old, old school fucking Kung Fu movies. Misery. Yeah, that's messed up. Pet Cemetery. Yeah. Kung Fu Soccer. Yeah. Kung, yeah, Kung Fu, Fu Hustle Kung. and Kung Fu Soccer. Fuck yeah. They're classics. They call me Bruce. <laughs> yep. Oh, now we're talking. And if you're going to talk Bruce, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Big Boss. Enter the Dragon. Way of the Dragon. Zimmy? Yeah. yeah. If we're gonna talk kung fu movies, I can talk about them for fucking months. So many good fucking ones. Nice. Warriors. Jack the Moss. Yeah. Cook the man some eggs. Once we're warriors. Yeah. Yeah, if, if anyone hasn't fucking seen it, classic old uh, mid-90s uh, Kiwi cult film, Once Were Warriors. The Raid 1 and 2, fuck yeah. Yep. 
Frederick JD, yep, you're on it. The raid. Warriors come out to play. We own the line. That rings a bell for sure. Kiss of the Dragon. Fuck yep, yes. Yep. Also a good film. Um, Alright, gentlemen. Yep. Yeah, definitely going to call it a night. Thanks, Paul. I shall see you all again soon. Roger. Yep. Are we up to six hours yet? No, we got two minutes. We got two minutes. Oh, two minutes. Yep. Oh, I could probably last yeah, that long. <laughs> <laughs> got to hit the six hours. <laughs> Just because it's a nice number. Mm hmm. Once upon a time in China. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. All of those ones. They're so fucking good. Wan Fei Hung. Yeah, that's I just said that. Yeah, <laughs> timing. Yeah, once upon a time in China. And obviously the Ip Man movies. Crash the Tiger Hidden Dragon. But then Project A, Police yeah. Story, um, Drunken Master. Yep. Ong Bak. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Hero was pretty good. I don't mind Hero. Oh, yep. Yep. All right, guys, I'm out. You take it easy. All righty. And, uh, yeah, Ken will sort out a filming session yeah. for the weekend. Yeah, we need to do that. Oh, shizzle. Cheers. All right, guys. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, right, everybody. Mate. Yep. Take Cheers. it easy. We'll talk soon. Yep. Blood sport. Fuck yeah. yeah. Good moves. All right, guys. Catch us later. Yep. Cheers. See you.